Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Welcome. Hope you guys like the new uh, <laughs> the new uh, stream starter. You know, an honor, an honor of our boy. You know, up in heaven. <laughs> Oh gosh. But welcome. Thanks guys for uh thanks for guys for coming to the stream today. I'm excited to see what happens this chapter. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Also, Arrow should be happy because they're the uh <laughs> the leader of the Barney Kaido cult. I did this for you. <laughs> oh man. But welcome guys. Yay, it seems like everybody can see me. Cool, cool. Narnie. <laughs> oh my god, Grossberg's in chat. Hey, Grossberg. Hey, honey. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I've heard a lot of really good things about um, this chapter, so I'm really excited to start it. I've heard this is when the game starts to feel, or I guess not, I guess totally not game. It's more like a watching series. The video series feels like an actual Danganronpa game. God, it's chapter three, too, so you know... Uh... <laughs> You know it's about to be uh it's about to be interesting very very interesting okay oh thank you misty vis yippee kinjo cold oh thank you for being a member for two months appreciate ya thank you for being a part of the kinjo cold okay uh so let me go ahead and give a shout out to the subreddit this was what inspired me so thank you shout out to to weeby gotcha <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I like the name, too. But uh, this was what inspired me beforehand. I was like, thank you. Shout out. Shout out to you. I think I might have saw them in chat, actually. <laughs> and then shout out to Mr. Gab Gab. I always love their art so much. I was like, oh, this scene was so cute. I was like, I've never even really shipped this before, but I was I was feeling things, you know? And then uh, <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor freaking Zaihara just watching from the corner like, damn, damn you, Riz Taro. Damn you. And then uh, good old Kokichi fan art, too. I like the little glitch background, too. I kind of noticed that was like a bit of a uh, kind of like a thematic thing, it seemed like, with uh, this game. That's why I've been trying to kind of make the thumbnails all like that. Thank you, Andrew Marsh. Hi, Wii fan. Wii fan here. I've been excited for the stream. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'm excited, too. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know, man. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Chapter 3 in general just, like, makes me nervous because it's always so... I don't know, so so wild. But yeah, shout out to uh Kurute, Kurute, Kurut, Kurut. I feel like I'm saying your name so wrong. I know I've shown your art before. I feel like I'm still just saying your name wrong. I'm sorry. Thank you to uh, Retro the NB, Kato Mamota, Luminary of the Barney. That is his true talent, and we will not. <laughs> and we will. That's just that's it. That's his true talent. Let's uh let's uh. <laughs> I think I think we've established that. Luminary of the Stars, who? That's not not true at all. Oh, God, Leon. Well, Chihiro was okay last time. We thought he was going to die, but it ended up being okay. So, I guess I guess this doesn't necessarily mean Leon's going to die. Tugs at the heartstrings is when him and Sayaka are going to finally become canon. If they do become canon, then one of them will probably die. And also, I'm so sorry, guys, about um, missing last week's streams. I guess I talked about it a little bit on like Twitter and my uh, stream yesterday, but yeah, I was just kind of feeling, uh, not feeling so good. I think I was like pushing myself too hard and uh, you know, I, I've always just kind of struggled with mental health and stuff like that. So I just don't think I was in a great place to be streaming or trying to make content, but I do feel a lot better now. So I'm glad to be uh, back here. Back in, uh, back to streaming, because I do miss it. I love it so much. But, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to let you guys know, because I, uh, I do feel bad about that. Um, uh, let me go ahead and hopefully the audio is okay. Let's see. I guess you guys can let me know if it's too quiet or not. Did I start it? Okay, yeah, I did. Ah, yes! Kimo is here! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Also, I'm moving soon, so dang it. My Kimo plush is already packed. No! Uh, I wanted to get it out. Damn it. Oh, well. It's okay. It's okay. Maybe next time. Next time I'll have the Kibo plush. Oh, my God. Hopefully he doesn't die. Hopefully he doesn't die between this week and next week. But yes, I love, I love him so much. Best boy. I'm so happy you're here. Oh, Hi, Kaide. I missed you. I missed you more, Kibo. I missed you more. Kibo, you're here. And didn't you live the whole game, basically? Why are you here? Because I'm a fan favorite. Oh, huh, well, I uh, guess I am. That's weird. It does seem like we're in some kind of program or something. Mew, how? 
Oh, thank you, Smurf Plays, for becoming a part of the Kenjo cult. Yay, appreciate you. I found a flash drive in my room. Jiro decoded it and found a lot of stuff on the thing. Also, one of Weeby's best boys. And then I realized it was really familiar. I discovered that it was Kibo. Yes! And with my brains, good looks, and Chihiro's skill, we got the guy back up and running. Miyu, Chihiro, this is incredible! Wait, what happened? Where am I? Who am I? Who's Sarah? What, what do you mean? Actually, I said the joke wrong. Damn it. I'm out of it, man. <laughs> well, I just remember that Kaido died. He killed Kokichi. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, wait, no, I was like, no, that's, that's the other game, the other game. I was surprised to hear that Kaido killed Kokichi. What? Also, she's like, also slay Kaido. That was kind of slay of you. I was kind of getting sick of this little shit anyways. Is this true, Kokichi? Yeah, what about it? So what? I died. It's just shocking. Well, get out of your fantasy world, princess, because not every nice person is all glitter and sparkles. There's no need to be nasty, Kogichi. Kaido was simply addressing the topic. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really know how Kibo is supposed to help us, but I'm glad I'm glad he's here. <laughs> well, Kibo, is, is there anything you could tell us about your game? Uh, not that I know of. What? How come? Well, I'm not sure. I just remember to a certain point, and then it goes blank. Okay. Blank. I guess up till that point, maybe? The Kaido Kokichi trial? Like, I know something is there. I just don't know what that something is. It goes up to Kaido's death and nothing. Oh, God damn it! We're wasting our fucking time. What do you, what do you mean? I mean, we built him to help us. This ain't any help. Yeah, I was kind of wondering that. I was like, I'm glad he's here, but what are you gonna, how are you gonna help us? He's just like, okay, guys, I'm here now. It's like, um, you gonna, gonna do anything? It's kind of like that meme, that Sailor Moon meme. Sailor Moon, Moon? Sailor Moon meme, where, uh, like, a uh, tuxedo mask helps. He's like, I've saved the day. And it's like, you didn't do anything. I've saved it. Hey, that's robophobic. So what if I didn't do anything? Does it look like I fucking care? Suck it up. Oh yeah, I gotta start cursing less because of freaking YouTube. Oh, quit whining, you dirty pig. You're not helping me at all here, Mew, with that. Excuse me? Oh, maybe it's because of his antenna falling off. Oh, interesting. I could definitely see that being the case. You heard me. Even Keyboy has more brains than you do. You can stop complaining long enough. You can't stop complaining long enough to think straight. Oh, that's a rich coming from you. You whine and complain about Kaide and her skills all the freaking time. Yeah, because it's true. She does suck a lot. As if a little liar like you is capable of telling the truth. Guys, please stop fighting. Can it, Robo Dweeb? Oh, got him. Uh, thank you, Andrew Marsh, for my spin the wheel prediction. Why stop now? LOL. Should I plan for a single or a double murder? Not wanting to spoil anything. You could probably go ahead and plan for a double murder. I assume it's probably gonna be a double murder, but uh, I'm not totally sure. Well, I feel like it probably will since it's connecting to like the canon games, you know what I mean? But thank you for the dono, appreciate ya. Quiet, Keyboy! Now people saying Slayer Moon in <laughs> chat. What? You guys, enough already. We can't argue like this. Especially when we just found Kibo. Oh, whatever. Figure this out yourselves. I'm going back to bed. Ugh, this was a waste of time. Kokichi, wait. Can't hear you. The door is blocking my hearing. La -da -da -da. Oh, Kokichi. He's been getting, like, some development, but I guess it's hard to completely, uh, whatchamacallit, change. <laughs> Kokichi, he's still kind of a prick, huh? Chihiro raced after Kokichi in a hurry. The door is shutting behind them. I think Chihiro said that they liked uh, Kokichi. Maybe we should get get to bed for the night. Ugh, really? I was about to show off my massive genius. 
Then we can talk about it tomorrow. I think it's better if we share this with everybody else anyways. Yeah, I guess. But no way in hell am I letting Kibo stay in my room. He's creepy when he... Pff, okay, no. You're the creepy one. I remember that scene, me. Well, he could sleep in one of the empty rooms. You know, one of the dead people's rooms. Like mucks or something. Or, um, he could... He could stay in mine. Oh my god, we're on talking to be like, hell no. As long as the doors are unlocked, he should be able to charge in Karekyo's, Mihiro's, Kaido's, or Makuro's room. Right, then it's settled. Right, then it's settled. Let's get going, Kibo. Okay. Uh, Kibo, he's so cute. He was not creepy, Miu. That was totally you. We settled Kibo to charge in Kaido's room. That left Rontaro and I to walk to our own. Sorry we ended the night so weirdly. <laughs> it's like that every night. It's fine. I'm just glad we could have some good news for once. Yeah, same here. Oh, uh, Kaide. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could hold hands again. Uh, slam! Here I am! <laughs> here to block you guys! What, what was that? I'm assuming. No clue. Maybe we should head to bed then. It's late and I don't want to get in trouble or be out longer than we're allowed. Yeah, yeah, right. That or Shuichi messing with the program. He's like, stop holding hands. Well, good night then, Kaide. Good night, Taro. Aw, cute. She called him that nickname before? Oh my god, I got a nickname. Uh, Taro. A nickname. Do you not like it? No, no, it's fine. I just, I didn't see you as a, a nickname kind of, kind of person. Well, why not? It's, it's what friends do, right? Oh god, am I friend zoned? <laughs> yeah, definitely night, Kaide. You know, you're just like a brother to me, Rontaro. Please stop. <laughs> Good night. Oh gosh, as I left, I got ready for bed, but I would soon regret that decision. Hello, anybody here? Why are you regretting it? You lied. Oh my god, is this Saihara? Is he upset? He's like, you lied, Kaede, when you said you loved me. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> What's this new ship that's brewing in this game? I leave you alone for two seconds, Kaede. No, I'm just kidding. It's got the Karekio music for some reason. You lied. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, I just friend zoned him, okay, Shuichi? Oh, oh, Mahiru. You lied. Hey, girly. M Mihiru, come back for some more screen time, girl. You said you'd protect us. I lasted for like two minutes, Kaide. You let the four, you let the four of us die. What? How? How are you here? Jeez, Kaide, you're acting like a lit down. Ah, uh, seven nightmares about all the people that died. I can't believe I ever believed in you. Dang, guys. Mux, guys, y'all are the ones who decided to kill people. Mux, guys. Why didn't you convince me otherwise? <laughs> kind of like when you think about how ridiculous it would actually be if some of these people were like that. Like, why didn't you convince me otherwise, Kaide? It's kind of your fault that I did that. Thank you, David. Daily reminder. I love you and have a good stream. Oh, thank you so much, David. It was so fun uh, hanging out with you yesterday. Hope you have a good day today, too. I'll uh, talk to you later on the Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Don't stutter like you're innocent. Because of you, you let our deaths... It's kind of your fault, Kaide. <laughs> wow, I did nothing wrong. Isn't that right, chat? No, I didn't... I didn't mean... Yeah, Kaide would never be with these people. How could you let this happen to us? I don't think Mihiro would either. Didn't you say that we were your friends? Makuro, probably not. She seemed like she got kind of redemption-ish. You guys, I'm, I'm sorry, but... but I, 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 I didn't, I didn't mean to. Kaide, Kaide. Rantaro, you gonna wake me up for my nightmare? Kaide, wake up. Gasp. Ha, ha, ha. Poor Kaide, dude. Oh, hey, it's Kibo, huh? Aw, poor Kaide. Kaide, are, are you okay? What? How? How are you? How, how'd you break in here? 
You didn't lock your door, a dumbass. Plus, I heard you talking in your sleep. But the walls are soundproof. I'm- it's part of my programming. It's to help protect whoever I'm around. That's a little weird, Kibo. <laughs> it's like- I just imagine he's like just standing over the bed. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, sure, buddy. It's a part of my programming to detect these things for some reason. Dude, if Kibo got like programmed to be evil or something, or if this was like dark Kibo, I would flip out, dude. If he was like the murderer of this chapter, I think I would cry. I think I would pour my drink on myself. <laughs> I was like, I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't put that into the universe, but, but I think I, I think I may have to do that at the end of the stream. Monokuma's smart, but then it comes, when it comes to robots like me, he's got nothing! Are you okay? Sure, Kiba, you sussy baka. Yeah, I just... You had a nightmare, right? Do you want to talk about it? Um... Like, that would just be so sad if he showed up and just to die. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it usually makes you feel better. I learned that from Ryoma. You remember him, right? Hey, who's that? Uh -huh. I mean, I was only alive for like one chapter, okay? So it's kind of hard to remember everybody. Uh -huh. One time I saw something weird and I was nervous, but then after talking to with Ryoma, I feel a lot better. It's things like that that help. Ryoma was such a little sweetheart, dude. I loved him. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. I wish you could have survived till the end. You would have been a great survivor. I've got to keep my promise with Rentaro in mind. Well, it's just so many people have died. Who else was here? Karekio, Kaido, Makuro, Mahiru. is like, oh, it's probably a good thing Karekio died. You weren't there for that part. Karekio and Kaido. Yeah, Kaido was just today. We found him. We found him dead in the library. Oh. Well, if it's any help, I'm sure Kaido would be proud of you. Even though we gave... Even though he gave me the creeps, Karekio is probably happy you're okay, too. <laughs> even though the guy, the guy was pretty freaking weird, but he's, he's probably happy somewhere in his weird little incest heaven place. You think so? Yeah, there- was Kurekio my friend? This is what I'm talking about with like this bitch shit that they do in Danganronpa. They're like, yeah, they're our best friends. <laughs> of course they'd be happy. And, well, you keep blaming yourself for what happened, but in this situation, we're kind of useless. Plus, Kaide, it was- it was their choice. Yeah, for real. I was like, come on, don't blame yourself for that. What do you mean? Gonna talk them out of slang? Well, they chose to kill people, two of them, that is. And people did fall victim to them. But you didn't cause that. They died They died to someone else. It wasn't you, so why is it your fault? It's just, I'm the leader. If I can't stop this, when, then what good am I? If you're a leader, you should pull us through this, but not at the expense of yourself. He's starting to sound like Rontaro. I feel like there is some kind of, I don't know, some kind of thing. I feel like... I'm not, like, super good with, like, psychology, but just, like, from analyzing characters, I feel like there is, like, a thing, like, when people, like, blame themselves for everything going on around them, I feel like that's something that could, like, develop from childhood. It's like, you know, when parents get divorced when you're, like, younger and a lot of times, like, kids blame themselves. I don't know if there's, like, a name for that. I feel like Kaede does have that, though. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Huh? Really? Uh-huh. I haven't been focusing much on myself, and I think I should work on that. Well, I'm glad I could help. Ah, Kibo, he's so cute. I don't even care if you are evil, Kibo. You're still adorable. So am I. Thanks a bunch, Kibo. He's probably not evil. He's probably not. Probably. No problem. Oh, oh god, no! <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> I'm like, he's probably not evil. He's doing great. He's doing perfectly fine. He's doing wonderful. Error, error, code Z. <laughs> Junko overtaking system. No, Kibo. Uh, Kibo, what's up, buddy? What's up, bestie? You doing good? You doing okay? <laughs> Downloading Junko personality. Error, error, unable to compute command protocol 176B4 unknown admin. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kai, no, no, you're saying it's Mitch in the chat. <laughs> Screw you guys. Kai, Kiba, what's going on? 
<laughs> He's like, cut, cut. No, stop it, cut it. I can't stop. No, keep it. Stop it. Stop being a fuck boy. I can't stop, Kaede. It's so sad. Keep it. What's going on? The, 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 the door. Oh my gosh. You're, you're not making any sense. So soccer balls. I'm seeing them in my vision. The bathroom door. door. The, the bathroom door. Uh. The bathroom door. Last. Click. Uh. Shutting. No! Don't die! Don't die! Shutting down. No, Kibo, come back to life! Hey, hey, Kibo, you, you good? You good? Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I should at least put him back in his- <laughs> She's like, move his dead. Well, not dead, but like, shut down body. Here you go, buddy. Just put him back in his room. You, you good, buddy. You're good. You're good. I don't know why he was talking about the bathroom, though. It was like, I don't know, just because like, uh, what's his face was, uh, on the card or whatever, Leon, it was like, is that to do, is he talking about like, the murder is gonna take place in the bathroom, the black room, just like it did in Danganronpa 1, I don't know. <laughs> I got off my bed and walked over to Kibo, moving my hand to pull him, only for Kibo to collapse on the ground. He's gonna drag him to his room. <laughs> it's like Kaido is, or not, I guess kind of Kaido because he's dead, but like Rontar or somebody sees her like dragging him. It's like, hey, what are you doing, Kaido? And nothing. Sorry. Ugh, how am I gonna get you back to your room? <laughs> I let out a sigh and grabbed one of Kibo's arms, tugging him to the door. God, Kibo, why do you have to be a robot? You're so heavy. I made my way to the door, opening it to reveal the empty halls. I winced at the scratching of Kibo. Are you literally just dragging his body on the floor? I guess he probably is uh, heavy, but I don't know, man. I'd probably just leave him there. It's against the floor as I make my way to Kaido's room. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Kibo, I'm sorry if this ruins your, your metal or something. Oh, God. After a while, I finally got Kibo to Kaido's room and put him down beside the bed. That took forever. Oh, Kibo's like 200 pounds? Oh, yeah, probably says on his uh, card thing, now that I think about it. Thank you, Rose Graham. Should we should be like Rontaro. Please help me with Kaide. Don't leave me with Kokichi. Meanwhile, K1BO. Hey, we be Jamis the Michinator. Ugh. God, that would be the that'd be my worst nightmare. Do you want my favorite characters turning into the Michinator? Oh gosh. Thank you for the dono. Appreciate ya. I made sure to shut the door on my way out, stepping back into the hall. Some would be like, what you doing, Kaide? You murdering. But my way back to what Kibo said about the bathrooms. Uh, I'm probably just being paranoid. Kibo must have knocked some bolts loose or something. But it couldn't hurt to check. Hmm. I slowly made my way to the bathrooms as, as I walked in, I winced at the heavy door slamming shut. I don't know what Kibo saw in here. I walked down to the last stall and pushed the door open with a frown. Was this talking about like the secret room that like Samugi or the secret like passageway Samugi used in the bathroom? Was that maybe what it was? It's just a standard bathroom. This isn't the same building, I don't think. Maybe I should, whoa, maybe so. I take her to the mastermind room. My foot caught onto something and sent me falling to the floor. I reached out to catch myself, but once I touched the wall, it pushed from under my hands. Okay, yeah. Oh, it is like a little secret room. Looks different than Samugi's though, right? I pushed myself up and looked at the, wo the wall. Door that was peeked open right in front of me. Kibo was, was right. I gotta... Turn him back on. I need to wake up Rintaro. This could help us out. I need to tell everybody. Slam. Uh, thud? Somebody attack me? <laughs> Not this time, Kaede. Oh, shit. Who is it? <laughs> this one's my little secret. Uh, no. <laughs> Why do I feel like this is Kokichi? And now sleep tight because... When you wake up, this is all going to be a distant memory. <sighs> Let's get you back to your room. Huh. 
I, I don't know. I feel like either Kokichi or somebody who's like working with the mastermind or something, maybe. Maybe? Ugh. My head is killing me. Knock, knock, knock. Ugh, who's there? <laughs> I wonder who said this. <laughs> Kinda, you small tit idiot. Um, Mew. Hey, girl, what's up? Open this door right now. Huh. Does she think that I, like, ruined Kibo or something? Hold on. Ignoring my headache, I jogged over to the door, tucking it open. Kaide, what did you do? Did you kill Kibo? I didn't mean to, okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you mean. People saw you dragging his dead body last night. Kiba was shut down his room on the floor. Um, Kiba, whoa, that's so weird. Who would, who would, who would have drug him around the the campus? That's so weird. I bet Rontaro, I bet Kokiji did it. That sounds like something he would do. Kiba, is he okay? I don't know, Kai, idiot. You tell me. Why are you blaming me? I haven't seen Kibo since you revealed him to us. How do they wipe her memory? I guess it probably is somebody like working with a mastermind if she like totally forgot about, you know, Dragon Kibo and all that stuff too. Then why is he on the floor muttering your name? Oh, pff <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Kaede killed me. Did you? <laughs> um, no. I'm not you, me. You totally did. It's written all the over your face. I called dibs on him. Stop being gross. I wouldn't do that. I was asleep all night. Besides when I wasn't, then what happened to my robot? He's not anyone's. He's his own person. That's robophobic. Oh, yeah. Well. Mew, maybe Kibo just bumped into a switch or something. I don't know. Gotcha. Here and I worked really freaking hard. You're lucky you didn't... <laughs> You're lucky you didn't fuck anything up. Mew, seriously, I don't remember anything from last night. God, Mew is gonna give me terms of service. All I did was go to bed after you showed us Kibo. I'm sorry. Ugh, whatever. Chihiro wanted me to tell ya. Breakfast is ready, by the way. You slept through... You slept through Taka, and even your beloved Rontaro. You slept through Taka. You slept through Taka, and even your beloved Rontaro. Beloved. Why are you banging everybody here, Kaide? Beloved! Everybody knows you guys held hands. That's like fifth base. Yeah, aren't you guys like hooking up? If we just, we just held hands once, okay? <laughs> no! Oh, okay, well, that's lewd, Kaide. Ah, uh, my bad. Then what are you guys? It, it, friends? He's like a brother to me. Really weird. Weren't you two like holding hands or something last night? <laughs> lewd. You saw that? Yep, you two aren't very discreet when you're walking down the hall together. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Plus, I installed a person camera, a personal camera outside my room so I can see what happens every night from my own screen. Uh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> How? That's going to be probably important during the trial. Jahira and I are smart as hell, and, uh,. You can hear uh, Shuichi quietly sobbing in the distance. Right, can we um can we not mention the hand thing in front of the others? I don't want them to think I'm a slut. <laughs> you know? And don't worry, Kaide. Not like I was gonna I was gonna anyways. Ain't anybody's business. Just dumb luck that I saw it. Besides, I think we'd rather stay focused on escaping this place, not your everlasting friendship with Rontaro. We don't have time for shipping. Just get out. I'm I'm gonna get dressed. Whatever, keep denying it. <laughs> oh, God. Terms of service. I quickly got dressed, and as I stumbled out, I noticed Miyu walking off with Shihiro. Ishimaru and Siaka were doing their rounds to wake everybody up. Good morning, Akamatsu. Ah, Taka! You're so cute. Morning, Taka. Who's the best boy? The other best boy. Man, I got two of my best boys. Ah, so many of my best boys in this game, actually. 
How did you sleep last night? Are you recovering well? Huh? About Makuro, of course, I mean. You two were growing quite close. It must be painful to lose her. I mean, it is. I... I just... Hey, Taka! Chihiro was looking for you in the gym. Oh, thank you! Andrew Marsh! Big Miu is watching you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, she's basically like Big Brother, isn't she? Thank you for the dono. Appreciate ya. Oh, what for? Uh, I don't know. He said he needed you, though. Oh, I see. Farewell, Lakamatsu. Ishimaru ran off to the gym, leaving Sayaka and I. Uh, sorry about him. I could tell you were uncomfortable. Why would you ever be uncomfortable with Taka? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, I, I guess it's kind of awkward to bring up. Hey, how's, how are you feeling after your friend died? <laughs> well, he meant good. I just don't think I'm ready to turn a new page after everything. That's totally normal, Kaide. In this place, a lot of things happen. But that doesn't mean mourning your friends can't be one of them. In a normal scenario, you'd mourn as long as you needed to, even if things are different. You deserve to still be able to do that. Thanks, Siaka. Yeah, it's sweet. Of course. Now we should head to breakfast. Chihiro and Miu wanted to talk to you. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I don't think it's good. Well, Chihiro will probably be nice about it, at least. All right. Let's go, I guess. We walked down to the dining hall and entered the kitchen. Gonna get yelled at yet again. I walked in and watched as Angie carried out our breakfast for the day. She's so hardworking. Good morning, Kaite. Good morning, Angie. How are you today? Angie's been very helpful so far. She hasn't really tried to start a cult or anything. I'm okay. I could, well, it'd be kind of interesting if she decided to, like... Well, hopefully, hopefully she, I don't know. Just an idea of how I could see it progress would be, since Kaide's like blaming herself for like the murders, and some other people are kind of blaming her too, mostly Kokichi. But if like Angie blamed Kaide for the murders too, I could see her being like, I'm the new leader now. We are doing the Angie cult. <laughs> the Kinjo cult is long gone. It's the Angie cult these days. Wonderful to hear. Breakfast is ready, so eat up. She was the original cult leader. All right. I walked over to make a plate, but as I reached the food, a hand met my wrist and dragged me away to a secluded area. <laughs> About freaking time. Uh, you already yelled at me before. Come on. Mew, remember what I said. Be diligent. Uh, sorry, Kaide. What I meant to say was, what took you so long? <laughs> I didn't even know we were meeting until two minutes ago. That's right. We just wanted to talk to you about Kibo. Uh, can you tell us why you killed him? What about him? We want to reveal him to the group, but we aren't sure how, you know, since he's, like, dying and whispering your name. Well, we should take them to Kaido's room. Really? Uh-huh, what if the mastermind finds out? Then he'll be in trouble, so we should keep it under wraps for now. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there's cameras everywhere, though. Even in the bedrooms, right? Oh. <laughs> Wasted no time. Ding dong, bing bong. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Good morning, students. You thought somebody was dead already? <laughs> Good one. I hope you're just as thrilled as I am to start a brand new day. Please gather the gym ace out for the grand opening of a brand new part of the school. We'll keep talking about this later. I guess that makes sense. They wouldn't, uh, we gotta get the motive and all that first, you know, before they start uh, killing. <laughs> Scares me, dude. Every time it goes off. Mew, Tihiro, and I walked over to the gym. As we arrived, Monokuma sat eerily on a podium. <laughs> this song kind of sounds funny. Yeah, all sped up. Oh, thank you, Bree. No expert here, but I usually research psychology for fun and writing. People who blame themselves often feel as if they have to take responsibility due to having high expectations put onto them. Kaide. Yeah, I can see that definitely being the case. I, I don't think there's, like, really, uh, I guess, exact name for it. I tend to do that a lot, though, too, honestly. So I was like, I can definitely, uh... Definitely relate. I was like me being a Kaide Kenny yet again. But thank you for the dono, Brie, and for the explanation. Appreciate ya. Finally, gee, I'll say you lot are hard to get up in the morning, huh? It's because you pulled all of us back into the shit show. Um, 
Come! We... We're dead, damn it! Just let us stay dead already! It doesn't... It shouldn't work like this. Leon! And I'm, like, wondering how... I don't know. I really think we're, like, computer programs or some weird thing like that. With, like, the memories. Ooh, or we're dolls. <laughs> Leon! My eyes lean on Sayaka, who literally hand rest against Leon's now shaking one. Wowie, this round is taking a toll on you! It's beautiful to see, but I bet this will wake you up! Oh, yay, we, do we get to go to Karekio's Creepy Corner for the third chapter? In fact, let's play a game! What's the one place we haven't explored yet? V3! No one's playing your games, Monokuma. Just tell us already. Well... Time for Karekio's Creepy Play Place! Yay! You, you haven't given us anything from Kaide Mew, Angie Cookie, Chain Rantaro's game. Right you are! And today we'll be bringing our game to the dis of despair to the second floor! No more beach! No more green screen beach! Now I'm sure you're asking Monokuma, what is upstairs? Organ of this bullshit, you fucking monster. I'm gonna tear you to shreds. I'm just gonna test and see if YouTube Terms of Service is me. I can't, I can't, I can't censor anymore. Mondo, don't feed into him. Enough, Monokuma. Just tell us about the new floor already. Oh, but I don't want to spoil it. Oop, boop, boop. How about you go and find out yourselves then? Since you're all grown, you've all grown so eager. Let's just get this over with, you guys. I kind of hope it is the seance uh, area. I always liked that, uh, that area. It was so creepy. She's right. I think we all feel the same. But the sooner we get this done, the sooner we'll be able to do what we wanted. Yes, let's keep our heads up, everybody. Yes, I believe with our gathered efforts. Things shall, things shall go smoothly. <laughs> you can't be serious. Oh my god. Are you guys still on this hopium crap? Ugh. Barf. Kokichi. I gotta come here and be emo and spoil the mood. How many times do I have to tell you idiots? <laughs> gonna start giving him the emo voice. <laughs> tell you idiots. We shouldn't trust anybody because you're all meanies. Whatever mean things you have to say, keep it to yourself, Kokiji. Why don't you cram it, you devil horned freak? Oh, I watch it, butter. I'll send you sprawling. Uh, why won't anybody listen to me? You guys are just like my mom. I'd like to see you try, tough guy. It'll only prove my point, though. Uh, which is not the core corner. <laughs> You're all playing into Monokuma's game, just like last time. How did you guys? How many times do you guys have to freaking do this? As if we would ever do that. Then explain this to me. What are you doing? Uh, following Monokuma's orders? Because after you all let Makuro get away with her stupid plan of killing Kaido, it seems pretty apparent. I bet you don't even care, do you? How dare you make such bold claims! I guess Kokichi kind of does have a point. Kokichi, Kaido was our friend. Of course we cared. And they are just kind of doing the same thing they always do. It's like, what happens if they just don't go up to the other floor? Monokuma's like, hey, come on! Come on, guys! There's there's cookies up there! There's there's a pizza party up there! Come on! Don't, don't you want to come up, please? Pretty please! Did you really? Or is this some kind of act that you think you care so you can boost your preppy schoolgirl attitude and look better for your little boyfriend over there? What is your problem? Why are you doing this? You're an idiot, Kaide. How about I tell them, huh? What you did. <laughs> uh, Kokichi? Uh, what do you mean, bestie? Last night, Miyu and Chihiro took us to Miyu's room. And in the bathroom, they had a secret little hidden project. Wait, wait, wait. Me and Chihiro took us to Miu's room, and in the bathroom they had a secret little project. But, bro, are you gonna say this in front of Monokuma? <laughs> and Kibo's here, you wanna find out? <laughs> oh my god, Monokuma, I'll give you the coordinates, exactly, so you can go kill him. The bathroom had a secret little project. They're, they built a robot from our game. <laughs> oh, interesting! Kibo's back? Cool! Cool, Leo! And they were keeping it a secret from you all. Even hiding him in Kaido's room. This is so tragic. Akamatsu. We're, we're about to show you guys. Akamatsu, is this true? Uh, we weren't planning on keeping him a secret from you forever. 
Tch. So the little fucker was right. You were keeping it from us. God, it is your fault that Karekio slayed. Mondo, it wasn't like that. I bet the second you had him up and running, you were gonna bust out of here and leave us to die. Oh, come on, guys. Don't yell at her like that, you ape. Thank you, Sayaka. Finally, somebody realizes I'm not a total shit person. I bet Kaede has an explanation. If you didn't cut her off every 10 seconds, you asshole. Yes, Yaka's right. Give Kaede a chance. I guess Mondo is kind of hot-headed. Doesn't really think about think about stuff or like reason very well. A chance to what? Manipulate us every damn time she's pulled this lovey-dovey shit out of her ass. Someone winds up dead. And by the time she does it again, it's gonna be... That's enough, Awada! Everything, every single problem in my life is Kaede's fault! That bitch! <laughs> Poor Kaede, dude. She's just trying to help. Oh, so now you're on her side. What, you straight now, bro? I, uh, I'm not on anybody's side! Oh, gosh. Mondo's freaking losing it, dude. Uh, what? You're not gonna stick up for your bro? Your bro friend? Remember your morals, Iwata. Treat Akamatsu with respect. Do not let Oma get to your head. <sniffs> Whatever, I'm out of here. Good luck to you, idiots. Oh, gosh. At least someone here has brains. Ugh, finally. Finally, somebody gets me. You're, you're kidding me, right? Um, uh, Kokichi boy bossing. You come after Kaede day after day and break her down. I wouldn't be surprised if you were the one behind this. Me, why would I want to be here with you guys again? Ugh, I hate you all. Hell if I know, Kokichi. You're the bi <laughs> You're the biggest asshole I've ever met. Tell him, Rontaro. I've tried being patient, but I'm tired of you tearing others down for your own satisfaction. So how about you shut your mouth and leave Kaede alone before I make you? Yeah! Sli Serve, Rontaro. Oh yeah, keep crying, Taro. Hey, that's my nickname for him. I can give him a nickname too. Come on, hit me with your best shot. Come on and hit me with your best shot. I bet you're too obsessed with your girlfriend to even... Oh, yes, get him, get him! Crack! Crack his skull open! Instantly, everything went silent, and all of a sudden, body's been discovered! If only. Oh. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerd! Nerd! <laughs> oh, he deserves that. I love Kokichi, but man, he's being a little... He's being a little turd. Kokichi was... Kokichi was on the floor. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Dang! Dang! Dude, he looks... He looks possessed! <laughs> you okay, bro? Possessed by the power of love. While Rontaro stood above him with his, this dark, creepy look. God, he... <laughs> God, I shouldn't have told... It's because I said the words. It's because I said it. He's like, I feel despair over... Over trapping my body. It's time to slay... <laughs> His flinch fist was clit his finch <laughs> his fist was clenched and from afar he could see bruises starting to form. Uh Rontaro, did did you that's not cool, bro. What's wrong with you? I mean I, he kinda does well, I don't know. <laughs> did he deserve it? Nah, I don't know. I guess it's not good to ever uh, go to physical violence, but sometimes it just feels good to see Kokichi get what's fucking coming to him. Yeah, he was being rude, but you nearly knocked him out. I mean, he has been, he's just been coming for Kaede every chapter, dude. It's like, come on. It's getting old. Ibuki helped today's Kokichi stand along with Chihiro. Oh, fucking Kokichi now is going to be like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bruised. I'm so, I'm so hurt. Wantaro is so mean. Wantaro and Kaede are so mean. She had this foreign look of anger on his face. To be honest, it scared me. That was uncalled for, Rontaro. Even from you. <laughs> God, they can all start turning on us. Ibuki, can you help me take him to his room? Yep, yep. 
They're all gonna blame Kaede for some reason. Thanks! Slay Taro, not you guys in the chat. Wait, Chihiro! Um... I want to help out too. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Look at Kokichi bringing everybody together. Are you sure? You and Kokichi don't really mix too well. Yeah, I know. Don't ask about it. Let's just go. Man, Rontaro did that. I did the Kibo body dragging thing. <laughs> They're all going to turn on me so quickly. Mio, Chihiro, and Ibuki all cleared out the gym and went to Kokichi's room. That left me, Angie, Taka, Rontaro, Siaka, Leon, and Gundam. Uh, so, um... That, uh, that, that was something. Something that happened, for sure. Angie, Leon, Gundam, Taka, can the two of you swing by Kaido's room and get Kibo? He, we should, he should be able to help you guys explore. Uh, what about you? I'm gonna go help Rontaro. Stay safe, you two! Oh, man. See you guys, you guys too. See you in a bit. Hey, Rontaro, you doing okay? I know, I know Weeby almost said the words. That's, that's what, that's what tempted you. But come on, let's, let's chill out a little bit. Everyone went their separate ways, leaving Rontaro and I in an awkward silence. Hey, Rontaro. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, baby. Sniff. Oh, okay. He's like, why are everybody mad at me? <laughs> I just punched Kokichi. He deserved it. I know. I know, Rontaro. I know. He did deserve it. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. Damn it. Now I just got brother zoned again. I I'm so sorry. Aw, I like Rentaro. It's really nice seeing more screen time of him. What? Aw, oh, poor little guy. I didn't mean to. I just, I got mad and then, and then I lost it. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, Rentaro, it's, it's okay. Kokichi's kind of a little shit, so I think we all saw it coming. No, it's not. I'm trying so hard to stay calm, but he was attacking you just like always. I can't stand seeing you sad over a jerk like him, but I shouldn't have heard him like that. To be honest, he... <laughs> to be honest, he probably deserved it. I don't know why all those people are defending him, to be real. Taro. Please, stop crying. For me, I don't like seeing you sad either. Oh, thank you, Rose Graham. Shuichi. No, Ron Taro, please don't take my waifu. <laughs> Ron Taro, like, uh, he, like, he's, like, hugging Kaede, like, crying, and then uh, he, like, looks up at the camera, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Stealing your girl, Shuichi. Shuichi's like, damn it! Damn you, Riz Taro. Sorry, I keep losing my hick cool today. Aw, oh, poor little Rontaro. Rontaro, you out of anyone here should know that it's okay to feel emotions. To be vulnerable, at least around me. You're always there for me, and I'm always going to be here for you. Yeah, I know. I, I just... Aw... You... It's, it's... It's not important. I just want to look cool around you, Kaede. So I'm going to be cool for my girl. I pulled her on Taro into a hug, smiling when he hugged back. I wrapped circles onto his back, and eventually he pulled away. Thank you, I appreciate it. Aw, that's cute. Of course, no matter what, we'll get this... We'll get through this together, Okay. We'll both live till the end together. Yeah, for sure. All right. Hopefully. <laughs> now, let me see your hand. It's not that bad, I promise. I got, like, bruised from punching uh, Kokichi, I guess. Dang, you really punched the crap out of him if you got bruised by that. Thank you, Andrew Mark, Shuichi. Oh, well, at least I still have... Kiki Nike, <laughs> Kiki Nike, Kiki, do you love me? And Kiki's like, no, I'm kind of into Rontaro now. I don't know, seeing all this Riz on camera, he's pretty cool. It's like, damn it. <laughs> Thank you for the dono. I saw the bruise. Come on, Taro, let me look. Kaide, we should, we should just explore, really. Nope, I'm not letting you go until you let me look. Nope, just promise you won't make a... Fine, just promise you won't make a big fuss. 
How bad is it gonna be? Okay, he really did just beat the crap out of Kokichi. As he should, King. All right, here. Nothing was too bad, but it was kind of swollen and bruised. Um, still, does it hurt? Clear Delude, more like Clear Delulu. <laughs> oh God, that's great, I love that. Um, still, still, does it hurt? Nothing, I can't walk off. Trust me, I felt worse. You sure? Uh -huh. One time with my mom, she brought me to Australia with her. She liked to travel and, well, I accidentally got <laughs> bit by a wombat. Then I lost my sister. <laughs> She's probably dead now. It's whatever. Yeesh, I'm sorry. You know, I do feel like they could bond a lot uh, based off his backstory. It's fine, I'm still standing, yeah? Because I'm sure he blames him, he definitely blames himself for all the sisters that he lost, which, you know... I don't know if I should say if it's wrong or not for him to blame himself. But, uh, you know, I feel like Kaede is always taking responsibility for stuff that's kind of out of her control. And then that's kind of his whole backstory, too. So I can see them bonding pretty, uh, pretty closely, like, based off of that. Thank you, Bongo Cat, Rontar, the ultimate Mr. Steal Your Girl. His true ultimate talent! Um, you ready to head upstairs? They find his talent room and it's just Mr. Steal Your Girl. Yeah, let's get going. Rontara and I started walking out to the stairwell, and as we climbed up, the sight wasn't too welcoming. Contrary to the lower floor, this was the academy I knew. Ah, oh, it's the first floor! No, I wanted it to be the creepy area! It was run down with fallen debris and overrun with plants in the halls. I wanted that music to come back, that ding 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 ding. Guess Monokuma didn't waste time or spare any details. I love that Karekio theme. Unfortunately. Kaide! Oh, yay! You're back, Kibo! Hey, you're not dead anymore! Kibo, hey! Kibo, you are very fast! Huff, huff! Ah, oh, little Kibo. Glad you're not dead anymore. Sorry, I was just excited to see Rontaro and Kaide again. Ah, cutie. What a little cutie pie. Ah, oh, well, we're excited to see you too, Keebs. Ah, Keebs. <laughs> Keebs. <laughs> oh, that's a cute nickname. You're giving everyone nicknames now? <laughs> I thought that was our thing. Damn it, now Kibo's gonna steal my girl. Why not? You guys are my friends. Friendly friend, friend, friends. I believe Kibi Keebs is a very cute and fitting name for our little friend. Okay, then you can- Ah, <laughs> that's such a cute nickname. You can just call me Keebs. <laughs> Aw. Aw, little Keebs. Ah, oh, Kaida, you've come to join us. Okay, I'm glad that Taka doesn't seem to hate me. Uh-huh. I see you found your hefty metal friend. Hey, you saying that because I'm made of metal? That's a robo! Robophobic! I don't think he meant it like that, buddy. You calling me fat, Taka? Okay, well, I understand. Any Anyways, Akamatsu, we found a few things of interest. Ah, uh, Kibi News! Oh, <laughs> that's adorable! Ah, uh, like what? Oh, oopsie. Ah, wrong button! No! Sometimes I'm trying to control the speed, I do that. We found the library! We also found our old cafeteria and gymnasium! Okay, oh, it's gonna be where Rontaro died. I wonder if that's gonna be weird for him to be back there. We also found an outdoor area, or what appears to be outdoors. It's more so a greenhouse, per se. A green screen of a greenhouse, per se. Oh, we, saw, we had something like that, but I doubt it's the same since, well, upstairs. I see, is there anything of note you'd wish to look for? My mind went to a distant memory I had, my eyes lowering to the ground. Yeah, actually, but I'd rather go there alone if that's okay. Of course, go as you please, Akamatsu. I guess it makes sense since we were in the bathroom earlier and we found the secret way, so go back to like the library. Come back safe. I always do. <laughs> do you? <laughs> the music changed. I always do Rontaro dark music. 
<laughs> no, you don't. You don't always come back safe, Kaide. You didn't come back from your execution safe, that's for sure. Claire to Lulu. I walked off the path felt embedded in my mind. Before I knew it, I was at the door of the classroom. I stepped in, and the setup was all too familiar. My eyes went straight to the old lockers in front, in front of the room. I remembered my ex. <laughs> it's like, damn it, she's even calling me her ex now. This is where I met Shuichi. Aw, I miss you, Shuichi. I stepped forward to them and opened one up, almost as if Shuichi would be there. I, I miss him. I feel like we're all too similar now, Shuichi. Aw. I know I miss him too. Rontaro is always here cheering me up, and I've always got my head down. But I miss you. You know that. You're you are a good friend. God, freaking Kaide friend zoning everybody. <laughs> you are a good friend. I'm sorry I gave up so easy. I hope you made it out okay. I hope you're taking care of yourself wherever you are. I could really use you right now. You were like my little buddy. <laughs> Shuichi. Poor Shuichi, her little buddy. What am I, like a child that you babysit? Am I like a dog to you, Kaide? Uh, who's my who's my little buddy? <laughs> who's just the little guy? That's what I call my cat. <laughs> Plus, I feel like you were way better at piecing things together than I was. Then again, you were a detective. Oh man, I sound crazy. Talking like you can hear me. I should probably go back to everyone else. I hope you're okay, Shuichi. <laughs> Buddy zoned. That's way worse than the friend zone. Feeling refreshed, I walked out of the room and I looked around. Oh gosh. I've got some spare time. I wonder who's hanging out around here. Oh, Ibuki? Oh my god, we're both hanging around here? Oh, thank you, Rose Graham. Shuichi, I guess my nickname is now Reject. Reject G. Poor Shuichi, dude. He's just like listening, like, damn it. I've been buddy zoned. I'm like her pet dog now. Kaide, Kaide, Kaide. I need your help. Sup, Angie? Is something wrong? Well, yes, well, no, but also yes. I found my old laboratory up here, and I was hoping you'd help me fix it up a bit. Oh, that was why I said a death flag in V3. Uh, thank you, Downbeat Dialga. I learned that spirit, praise, and beauty, Kyo's theme, is about V3's chapter 3 deaths. Tenka values showing one's spirit, emotions. Angie has a fervent belief in praising Antua, and Kyo himself, beauty. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, thank you for the dono, and thanks for the, uh, the, uh, like, trivia thing. That's cool. I really, I always really like that song. It's so creepy, you know what I mean? And also, I, I loved your, uh, Claire de Lulu, uh, joke. That's great. I'm totally, totally snatching that. And thank you for being a member for six months, too. Also, glad I caught a stream. Been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, well, no, but also yes. Found my lab. An artist needs her tools. Does that mean the seance area opened up, too? Yeah, sounds cool. This whole level is just like the entirety of the school from V3. Yeah, amazing. Let's go then, Kaide. Angie took me to her lab, and we began to grab some boxes and organize them. If only Kaide could have seen her wax figure that uh, Angie made. So, Angie, how are you after Makuro? Um, why are you asking such a silly question? Nothing bad happened, ever. Uh, silly? I'm quite alright, but since you asked, yes, I'm upset. Okay. Interesting. Though I believe Atu has blessed me with the ability to let these things go more easily. I was upset for two minutes, but then I paraded away. I see. Have you done any painting lately? Um, actually, no. Kaide, put your boxes down. Uh, what? I'm going to paint your beautiful face. Oh, it's kind of like we're getting a free time event. Oh my god, can you make a creepy wax figure of me? Uh, me? Why are y'all guys saying Angie Yo Mama in chat? <laughs> what are y'all doing? <laughs> You're wild in chat. As, as per usual. Who else, silly? Now come on, let's get going. Um, okay. Okay? Just stand over there, I'll be right back. Angie rushed over to a box, grabbed a canvas, and tucked it under her arm. She began to hastily set up. Now for your pose. Hum. Ha! 
Oh, karate pose. Ooh, be cool, be badass. Angie raced over and began to readjust my posture and limbs until she gave me a thumbs up. Or maybe she just did the, the Danganronpa standing pose. Oh, yes. <laughs> be as stiff and lifeless as possible, Kaede. That's the good shit. That's that Danganronpa pose shit that we love. Okay, hold that pose. Uh, all right. <laughs> Angie and I had a casual conversation. After a while, she finished the piece. It was amazing to see what she could do. I feel like Angie and I grew a lot closer today. Yay, a beautiful pa painting of me standing like this. As I left the room, I stretched my cramping limbs from Angie's posing. I suddenly bumped into someone as I turned the corner, grunting as I fell over. Oh, yay, Kibo! Oh, and I hang out with Kibo. Best boy, I love him so much. Oh, sorry, Kaede. Sweet, has never done anything wrong in his entire life. It's all right, I wasn't watching where I was going. I feel like my favorite characters are characters who've done everything wrong in their entire life and characters who have done nothing wrong in their entire life. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew Marsh. Angie's appearance reminded me. I posted a one shot today for Makoto's birthday where Angie paints a portrait of the Nagis as a birthday present for her former headmaster that his family ordered. Ah, oh, that's cute. Did you post it on uh, just like a fanfic website or did you post it on the subreddit? I could uh, definitely check it out though if you post it on the Reddit. Thank you for the uh, donation, appreciate ya. I stood up and brushed myself off, a thought popping into my mind. We should hang out. Hey, Kibo, you wanna hang out for a little while? Hell yeah, let's hang out with Kibo. Best boy, sure. Oh, let's go drink some oil or something. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you like to do, buddy. All right, well, what do you wanna do? Actually, Kaede, can you help me with something? Sure, what's up? Well, I was wondering if we could play a game. A game? Man, they keep saying the play a game thing. Keeps reminding me of like Saw. Huh? What kind of game? Well, Leon was talking to me about baseball and when he was little, his dad would play catch with him. Oh, we're gonna play catch? So will you will you play catch with me? Oh, it's so fucking cute. <laughs> I don't know if it's Sprite too. <laughs> of course, Cubes, let's head to the gym. Ah, little Cubes. <laughs> let's throw the ball around, sport. Kiba and I went to the gym and got out bas baseball equipment, or at least we made it. We made it. We made do with what we had. I was a little awkward at first, but he quickly got the hang of it. Hey, Kibo, why did you want to play catch anyways? Oh, uh, well, when Leon was talking about it, he said it made him and his dad really happy. I just want to be happy. I guess I wanted to make you happy too. Miu said you've been really stressed lately, so I was hoping this would help. <laughs> Mostly from Miu yelling at me, but you know. Kibo, I... Oh, he's so cute, dude. <laughs> Always thinking of others. Thank you, I'm really glad you're back, besties. Kibo's just such a selfless little guy. Me too, Kaide. As I taught Kibo to play catch, and we talked, I felt like we grew a lot closer. Yay, as you should. I left the gym and went towards my room, but then I noticed a figure approaching the room as well. Uh, is she Mario? Okay, what you doing, is she? Oh, <laughs> God. Okay, never mind. Turn around, Kaede. Let's leave. Ugh, I don't want to see this guy. Wrong one, sweetheart. And don't call me a sweetheart, you weirdo. Oh, is she dead? So, so nice to see you. Love you, bestie. Isn't it always? The hell are you doing out here all alone? Just leaving. Just trying to, um, to go, just going to my, um, my room. Oh yeah, with your reputation, I didn't think you'd want to be alone. <laughs> Freaking Ishimaru. Or not, or Ishida. Well, I trust you guys, and can I just leave now, please? <laughs> can I please? Not enough to talk about Kibo, huh? Oh, God. Oh god, of course Ishida is on the freaking, like, brainwashed Kokichi train. Ha! Huh? Ha, huh, Kaede! That was different! It's your fault everybody was murdering Kaede! Get it through your head! You know, I'm glad I ran into you, actually. Oh god. Gotta berate me more. You are... 
Yeah, funny actually. Ishiro Amaro and I are two different people. I'm constantly compared to that dipshit Owada. And maybe he inspired me at some point, but by my own being. I'm going to make this clear, toots. Oh, keep your filthy claws off of Ishimaru. All this is seriously messing him up. What? Huh. And I don't want him going off and doing something stupid, you understand? I was just thinking too, it'd be kind of weird if Ishida ended up uh, killing somebody. Because then uh, I could see that being pretty interesting during the trial, you know? Because he'd like trust Ishimaru. And he like wouldn't even like remember it, I don't think. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever, buddy. <laughs> whatever, can you just like leave me alone now? Good, make sure you stay in line. Is Ishida straight? He was, he was roasting Iwata, this is so sad. And just like that, Ishida walked off and left me standing alone in the hall. Brushing off my fear, I went to my room and locked the door, getting ready for the night. I lay down and tucked myself in, closing my eyes and waiting for a hopefully peaceful night's sleep. <laughs> hopefully. We can only hope. More people blaming me in my sleep. Now it's gonna be Kokichi. It's all your fault, Kaede, you bitch. For once I slept peacefully, but I guess that didn't go for the others. Knock, knock, knock. Uh-oh. It's like, how far in this video are we? <laughs> I feel like we're getting close. Hum, who is it? I opened my eyes to a pitch black room, the lack of light causing my heart to race. Uh oh. The middle of the night? Uh oh. Somebody gonna try to murder me? Oh, wait. Oh, Kibo. Uh, wait. I stumbled over the door, opening it to reveal Kibo standing in the hall. Kibo, you're not, you're not gonna come kill me, huh, buddy? You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. I stand you too hard, right? Thank you, Andrew. Just in case I didn't tag you right in the chat earlier, I don't know where the subreddit is, but I tagged you in a tweet I posted that has the link to the one shot in question. Oh, yeah, I can see it through Twitter too, yeah. Unfortunately, the chat would be pretty hard to find if I was looking through here. I think YouTube's kind of weird about uh, links too. But uh, yeah, if you tagged me on Twitter, I could uh, definitely find it there. Thank you. Appreciate you. I stumbled over the door, opening it to reveal Kibo standing in the hall. Kibo, why is it so dark? The power went out. Miyu sent me to get you. Okay. Oh, whew. Scary. <laughs> okay, I can't see anything, though. Oh, God, this is freaky. Oh, right. Brace your eyes. Oh, yeah, he can uh, shine a light. Kiba's eyes began to glow, and he led me out of the hall. Okay, cool, nice. Oh, that's good. I am scared of the dark, too, honestly. Me and Chihiro and Angie were all waiting for us. Scary. Miyu, Chihiro, Siaka, and Angie were all waiting for us. Bam! Uh oh. Oh gosh. It's freaking music too. We all turned to see Monokuma, who had actually walked into. A <laughs> what the? <laughs> Beep boop. Uh, sorry about that, folks. I guess our system isn't too state of the art after a few years. This shit's getting old. Anyway, let's get back to sleep, or the results won't be pretty. I got a special surprise for you coming soon! And just like that, he was gone, leaving the rest of us standing in the hall. Hmm. Thank you for- thanks for trying to help. I guess we don't need to go out now, huh? I guess so. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the- uh-oh, is he about to go all robo-crazy again? Uh, Kibo? See you t t t t t t t t t Sorry, I just felt really drained all of a sudden. I think I'm going to turn in for the night. I guess the- uh, like of using up a lot of battery, too. You sure? Yep, see you in the morning, Kaide. Aw, bye, Keebs. That's such a cute nickname. Night, Kibo. Hope you're okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that Monokuma would be, like, out of sorts, too, since uh, the lights were not working. That's kind of how it was in a DRA. I shut and locked my door behind Kibo and went back to bed. But I couldn't help but feel nervous for what was happening tomorrow. Ding dong, bing bong. It's the morning. It's right. Okay, cool. Good morning. Get ready for another beautiful day. Uh, every time I hear that stupid thing or read it, I get so freaked out, dude. 
Do 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 do. I have a very special gift waiting. <laughs> this one sounds fun. Sped up too. Great. <laughs> At least it looks like Monokuma fixed the power. I guess I'm gonna turn it off to make something. I changed my clothes and went out of the room. Already seeing others doing the same. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Cool, keep a flashlight eyes function. I used his voice recording wind up tape function in my Danganronpa before. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things you use with Kibo, I feel like, in a death game sort of like situation. Thank you for the down note. Appreciate ya. Good morning, my friend. I feel like Gundam hasn't really done a whole lot in this game so far. I kind of forget he's here sometimes. Morning, Gundam. How are you and the Devas? The Divas. Slaying as per usual. They are doing magnificent. They seem to be a lot more joyous after being in, in your care. I'm glad. It's probably okay to tell the hamsters to slay, right? As am I. They probably won't do it, right? Right? Are they? Yes, they're present. Would you like to see them again? Yes, please. The little guys. Gonna be enemy of the Davis. Carefully. Ah, oh, they're so freaking cute! Causing me to get a rush of joy. <laughs> it's so cute seeing them on her. Thank you, Gundam. <laughs> Hi, Kaide. Hi, Gundam. Oh, the little Davis. The little diva Davis. Morning, Ibuki. How are you? Ibuki's okay. She just finished getting up early with Chihiro to check on Kokichi. Oh, how is he? He's okay. Rantaro gave a nasty hit, but Kokichi is fine. Just a bruise. Really, no breaks. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? It's like, ah, oh, man. He didn't, even, he didn't even break a little bit, a little bit of his arm. Damn it. Uh-huh, he's all good. Speaking of Rantaro. Speaking of, Rantaro came to visit him earlier as well. They're still in there. Last Ibuki checked. <laughs> they okay. We about to hear a body discovery go off. Ah, uh, Kaede, stop being so worrisome. Everything will be okay. I bet you something really good will happen today. Uh, yeah. Yeah, something really good. Like, how much more time do we have left in this episode? Think today is the day somebody gets slayed. <laughs> Maybe. Ahem, ahem. I called for everyone on the island. Front, pronto, pronto. Hurry along. I uh, guess that's our cue. Ibuki Gundam and I made our way outside to the island, glancing around until we noticed a big stage set up. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. Come on. Come on. Come all to the amazing Monokuma Wheel of Lies. Oh, this. Oh, this one's going to be Kokichi themed. What is this devious contraption? I'm glad you asked. Now that everybody's here, I can finally explain. Today, I introduce our fabulous motive. Do you work with Kokichi to make this? Every student will come up stage to spin the wheel. And by spinning it, they will get a number. Each number corresponds with a piece of paper, which contains, oh, two lies and one truth about each student. Oh, yeah, that's a cool idea for a motive, too. It's up to you what to believe or to not believe. Oh, though I have a feeling this motive is stronger than you may give it credit for. Yeah, I could definitely see that causing doubt amongst people, you know. How do we know these aren't all lies? Especially with, like, them downing Kaide recently, too. I feel like somebody's gonna try to kill Kaide this chapter. Wanna test your theory, Kawada? Probably, like, Mondo or something, honestly. No, he's good. <laughs> Let's not push it. Siaka tugged Leon's arm and pulled him further back into the group. Then everybody turned back to the stage. Well, since we have no one, no more unnecessary interruptions, Kaide, you go first! Um, okay. A lot of Instarampas do this. I can see that. I stepped to the stage and spun the hefty wheel. I watched as it ticked down to the section labeled three. Lucky number three! Oh, what juicy secrets do we have in store? Monokuma handed me the paper labeled three and I opened it. Let's see. Oh, Kiyotaka Shimaru. Kiyotaka is hiding something regarding another student. Oh, Kiyotaka has murder plans to exact revenge. Kiyotaka is working for the mastermind. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, unless it's like a Sheeta. I just don't see that being the... I just don't see that being the case. I feel like it would probably be one. But I could see a, G a Sheeta trying to do like a murder plan, honestly. But I'm like... I mean, it was like Celeste that killed him. I don't know if he really has like... A reason for revenge for this? Unless he's gonna kill me because he blames 
me for not stopping Correcchio from killing, but it's like, come on, dude, that's not my problem. I feel like I'd probably be one, that would be the truth, probably. Kitak is working for the mastermind. Now hurry along, our next contestant will be Angie Yanaga, woo! Uh, all right. It's kind of weird though with Mondo, I mean not Mondo, with um, Ishimaru too, because I feel like some of it could be about like Ishida. Angie stepped up and slowly but surely everyone got assigned a paper. All right, phew, and now that's taken care of. There's one more thing I need to make clear. In regards to the little blackout last night, each building in this institution has a circuit breaker. Oh, messing with them can cause a big old blackout. So be sure not to touch them. That means somebody was touching it last night. But if you do, a few flips of a switch to get the power back up and running. So, so don't count on me to bail you out, losers. Now that everything's taken care of, I'll see you all soon for hopefully a very despair-inducing trial. Oop, oop, oop. Enjoy your day, students, as it may be your last. Monokuma dipped away, leaving everybody standing alone. Uh, Buki thinks we should share who, who we got. Yeah. I don't think everybody's gonna share, though. No way, that just put a bigger target on our... <laughs> Actually, yeah, probably not. I don't know if it would be good to share. I'm like, would it be good to share? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of hard with these because I feel like the more you share, the more like distrust it's going to cause. But then I guess if you like get a really bad one, then like that could lead that one person to target somebody without like, um, I don't know, without the rest of the group knowing about it. It's probably best not to share though, right? They just put a bigger target on our back. Well, what do we do if we can't share them? Burn them. I believe the only solution is to keep them to ourselves now. Are they not? We aren't too sure if it's all truthful. True, maybe for once we shouldn't fight this? Huh? What do you mean? Just like go to the person and see what they say is true? Well, normally we all try to race to conclusions to prevent anything from happening. But that hasn't been working out. But maybe this time we should try to forget about it for a while. Give us time to clear our heads. And how are we supposed to do that? Let's have a party! Oh yay! Oh my god, pizza party! We can have snacks and drinks. Ibuki, Kaide, Leon, and I can even perform for you guys. Oh, Leon too! Oh, the little wannabe singer. Nice. You know, that doesn't sound too bad. That'll be cute. Kibo's right. I think it would do us some good. Aw, oh, that, that could be cute. So it's settled. We'll set up tonight and get ready for the party, which will be in the music venue tomorrow at noon. This sounds fantastic, Sayaka. Mayhaps, mayhaps, I can help organize the- What are you, like an 80 year old grandpa? I know, right? Parties usually do be, uh, they are pretty cursed, but it'll be cute to see all the performers performing together, right? Right? Hopefully it's cute. <laughs> I'm like, hopefully it's cute, but yeah. Parties in Danganronpa have not, have not gone over so well. Ah, uh, you know, the ultimate imposter would have been a really good uh, character for like a Redemption Rampa thing. I feel like they kind of got, uh, you know, they deserved a lot more like, you know, I feel like screen time and like fleshing out. How about you and Angie relax together? You've had a hard couple of weeks, yeah? Uh, but... Oh, come on, Ishimaru. Hang out with Kibo and I tonight. Yes, we'll have lots of fun. Okay, I suppose we can for a little while. Hooray, Kibo and Shimaru, let's go! Nyaha! Angie ran off with Ishimaru and Kibo, leaving the small group behind. I'm gonna head back to my room, too. You guys all good out here? Um, take care of yourself. I met a pair of, I met a pair of purple eyes momentarily from nearby, but Kukichi only stared before walking off wordlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> mm, I'm still hurt. Look at my blues, Kaide. I'm still hurt. Eh. Thank you, Andrew. Finally, the beach party I predicted in chapter two. Yep, finally. I guess, is it, is it at the beach? I, I think it is. Eh, it sounds about right. Thank you for the dono. And thank you, uh, Chupaluba, for being a member for one month. I like your name. It's fun to say. <laughs> or I guess Sarah, too. Hey, Weeby, just had to catch the stream. Oh, thank you for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying the stream. It's not like him to be so quiet in these situations. Did he get my card? I'm planning to murder you. 
After Rontaro, he's been pretty quiet. He applied that bruise with makeup. He probably did, honestly. He's like, I gotta make it look worse so I can get more sympathy. Uh. Rontaro's been... Rontaro's been pretty off himself. Oh, man. I hope Rontaro doesn't die. Probably because he didn't want to end up punching the kid again. Everyone knows he didn't mean to. Gosh. From one angry guy to another. We know he didn't mean it, but that doesn't make it okay, you know? Kaede, he's got to be held accountable to some extent. It was a bit of an overreaction. He's kind of right. Ah, eh, I don't know. I guess so. Uh, kinda. Just a little bit. Well, Rontaro kinda did overreact, but let's be honest, Kokichi deserved it after everything he's done. Yeah, I get angry too sometimes, but after talking with Ibuki a lot, I'm trying to get a better grasp on my actions. I ain't saying Rontaro's a bad guy, he isn't, but you have too much hope for people, Kaede. And that clouds your judgment. Sometimes people do bad things. Even good people. I know that. Like Karekio. And maybe that that was an exception. Well then, you gotta start acting like it. You're too forgiven. You gonna apologize for being kind of a turd to me earlier? You gotta learn when to put your foot down. And how to know when enough is enough. But, because you were like going off on me last time. I ain't telling you to do much, alright? Just think about it. Mondo walked off as well as a few others, leaving Sayaka, Buki, Leon, and I. Yay, performance! Leon gonna do like the rap verse in our uh, performance. It'd be kind of funny if he was like honestly terrible at music. I could see that being the case. Because I feel like he just wanted to do it to get girls or something. Didn't he say that in his free time events? Thank you, Chubaluba. You can call me Sarah. Or <laughs> Sarah. That is such a fun name to say. Thank you, Sarah, since the other name is confusing. Haha. <laughs> Excited to see your reaction to the rest of this chapter. Thank you so much. And yeah, same here. It's been uh, very enjoyable so far. And yeah, I'm excited but nervous to see uh, how the rest of it plays out. Don't listen to that thick-headed lug. Your positivity is what makes you you. We love your Claire de lulu -ness. Yeah, he might be kind of right, though. You're seriously listening to him? It's about time things change, isn't it? If I blatantly ignore everything, history will just repeat itself. This is for the better, I promise. Poor Kaede, dude. Um, all right, so about the party. Uh, thank you, Downbeat Dialga. Kokichi applying makeup. Vaseline under the eyes, fanning them. <laughs> I'm such a victim. Ooh, he's like gaslighting himself in the mirror. He's like, wow, this bruise. This bruise looks so bad. Uh, <laughs> wow, it's so purple. That's crazy. How could Rentaro hit me like that? That's so sad. <laughs> thank you for the dono. Um, all right, so about the party. A bilky can set up. We'll have confetti canyons, cookie statues, and big speakers that'll make your ears ring. That might be a bit much, don't you think? Um, nope! Ibuki put on a performance for her other friends during her game. They all loved it! Well then, how about Ibuki and I figure out a gym setup while you and Leon look for supplies? That sounds good, Leon? I'm down. I want to hear Leon's rap, rap break. Yo, yo, yo. Trial of life, trial of death. Great, let's go, Sayaka. He can do the Sora rap. Ibuki raced off with Sayaka, trailing behind, leaving Leon and I to walk back inside and into the halls. So where do we look for concert supplies? We could ask Angie. She has her art ta her art lab here. All right, sounds good. Lena and I made our way upstairs and we approached Angie's lab to some yelling. Oh, ah, oh, oh, Ishimaru, you can't squirm or it'll mess up my reference. Oh my God, she's gonna draw Dongan. Oh no, he's he's not doing the Dongan Rampa pose though. Come on, why did I get the Dongan Rampa pose? Because Kaede really was just standing there like, <laughs> must I pose like this? Yeah, you're so silly, Ishimaru. Of course you do. Come on, Ishimaru. I believe in you. Kibo did his just fine, Ishimaru. Just hold it for a few more minutes. 
Hey guys, are we interrupting something? It'd be kind of cute to have like a painting to remember whoever like uh, dies by, uh, you know, for the coming chapters. I guess that could be kind of a nice thing for her, you know, uh, painting and stuff. Nothing too important. Kibo and I were just trying to encourage Ishimaru to pose for my newest piece. Do you need something, Kaide? We were wondering if you could piece something, piece together some decorations for our party tomorrow. Oh, me? Of course! I'd be delighted to, Kaide! Great, we'll probably need a few things. Streamers, maybe, some banners of some sort, but don't do too much at once. Yeah, you doubt me, Kaide. I'm the ultimate artist, am I not? <laughs> you are. Aham, uh Kibo Ishimaru, would you care to help me? Of course. Yes, we'll perform with perfection to achieve the ultimate amount of fun for our friends and their party. Before somebody inevitably dies. Um, okay then, but Ishimaru, you're here to relax as well. So don't think I'll let you do all of the work. Hey, let's get out of here. I have a feeling those two aren't gonna agree anytime soon. Cute. Okay. I'm not really sure who I think's gonna die so far. I feel like there really hasn't been too much hinting. I don't know, mostly Kibo is who I'm worried about just because I guess he's been getting a lot of screen time and he just kind of popped up out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Leon and I went off again. And as we came downstairs, I noticed Rontaro and Ibuki talking. We need lots of food, sweets especially, so everybody can keep their energy up during the bombastic party. And also we need acid. <laughs> it's like, wait, what now? And weed. <laughs> oh gosh, sounds good. We're, who's gonna be helping me out? We got a trip, man. Ibuki will adoy. I need to make sure you don't mess anything up. Right. Hey, Ibuki, where's Sayaka? Oh, Ibuki left her in the concert hall. We split up after we figured out the setup. That's not good. All right, we'll head over there to start rehearsing. I hope they can at least do whatever performance they got planned. Okie dokie, let's go, Rontaro. Cause yeah, it's always been like a cool idea to see them, uh, you know, like performing together, all the musical talents together performing. Leon and I made our way to the concert hall where Siaka was waiting. Oh, yeah, it's the titty typhoon, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, you two, welcome back. Did Ibuki's thing go smoothly with Rontaro? Uh huh. Also, Angie agreed to help. Kibo and Ishimaru are on board with it too. Great, then that gives us some time alone to practice, Kaide. Uh, what about me? It's like, hey, what about you? You can wait for Ibuki. So I don't know, if, did he say he wanted to be like a singer or something? Aw oh, man, can I go back with you guys? I'd love to, I'd love to hang out more, but this is a thing for me and Kaide, all right? I just don't like seeing the word hang in this room. Ibuki will be back soon after telling Rontaro what to do. Fine. Great, let's go, Kaide. They're just going at the concert hall here. <laughs> Sayaka led me to a room backstage where she had instruments set up for everyone performing. Have you ever performed for anybody, Kaide? She's performed for like the queen or something. A few friends, but I've also performed some concerts. You know, concert ho halls, you know. Really, what kind? Yeah, I feel like when I saw a hang, I would just like, honestly, <laughs> I was like, I feel like I just kind of like, <laughs> Oops, <laughs> just like with a stage behind me too, I'm like. <laughs> Remember what happened here. <laughs> oh gosh. Just for school, some of my community, nothing big. I thought she did perform for like kings and stuff before. Wow, I'm jealous, honestly. You know, I've toured all around the world with Blackpink, so it's no biggie. Jealous. Um, I miss when my friends and I used to be able to fool around without a manager breathing down our necks or paparazzi or people always lingering around us. It's the best job I could ask for, don't get me wrong. Though it's a tad much sometimes. It's so hard being rich and famous. I miss when my group and I used to perform for smaller crowds like kids at hospitals or even talent shows. You sing for children at hospitals? Yep, it was sweet. The kids loved it. As an idol, that's all you want from your listeners. Uh-huh. 
That's cute. You know, Kaide, you make a pretty good idol. Oh. I can see Kaide being an idol. Me an idol? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I'd be much good in frilly clothes. I don't know, she might be like a little too shy though, maybe. She's like a good leader, but I don't know if I guess she could like, if she could slay in the good way on stage, you know what I mean? Could Kaide serve? That's the question. I just don't know if I could see her serving. I feel like she'd be kind of awkward, but I feel like it's also because I see Kaide. I see a lot of myself in Kaide. <laughs> it's much more than that. It's loads of fun, but I respect your feeling towards it. Uh, yeah, I'd rather sit at the piano and play something nice than dance around. Uh, you'd be surprised how much muscle that dancing can build, but it seems we have very different, very different tastes then. I guess so anyways. What's the plan for the show tomorrow? Well, I know Ibuki wanted more lights, and she wanted there to be three songs. One with the girls, one with Leon and I, and one with everybody. That sounds good to me. We're going to need a song. Do you think this place will have any? What was that weird ass song we sang for Karekio's seance? We should sing that song though. That'd be so cute. Actually, I think I know where we can get some songs, so don't worry about that. Oh my god, we could sing Clara de Lulu together on stage. <laughs> oh god, it's just like singing to the tune of Clara de Lune about how nobody's gonna die and everything's gonna be great and we love hope. Okay, so we'll just need some sheet music and we'll be ready. Sounds good. I'll go get it now. Sayaka dashed off to get the music she mentioned, leaving me to hear some commotion back in the main room. The girls are fighting again. Stop moving your hands, Leon. The Cage Child song. That's what it was. Ooh, a remix. A remix of the Cage Child and Claire to Lulu together. What? But this is this is how I so I do things, bro. Professional rapper. I've done it like once at my grandma's bar mitzvah. I don't even think that makes sense, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> if you keep moving, we'll tape your hands on the guitar. We don't have all night. Uh, technically. I was gonna play guitar. Ibuki will not hesitate, Leon. Oh my god, she could play MCR on the piano, and that would be good. All right, all right, re relax. I couldn't help but chuckle at the exchange. Then I spared a glance to the clock and noticed the time. You guys, I'm going to call it a night. Oh, you guys, I'm going to call it a night. Do you have everything covered from here? Uh, we should. So you see the Cage Child song featuring Drake. <laughs> Drake and 21 Sav <laughs> Savage. Thank you, Andrew. Part of me is honestly curious how... A Kokichi the meanest and Mikan the meekest dynamic would work in this redemption fan gan. Ah, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see Mikan. I love Mikan, dude. She's such an interesting uh, character. She's probably one of my favorites from the second game. Would have been really interesting to see her on here, but oh well. But thanks for the dono. Appreciate ya. And welcome back, Bree. We should. Um, not to worry, Kaide. Ibuki will handle everything. Yeah, we got this. Get some sleep, leader. Okay, if you're sure. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Now I just have that stupid song. It's like I'm at 21. Can you do something for me? It's like a caged child version of that. 21. Can you sacrifice a child for me? It doesn't. It doesn't slip. Out, doesn't you know slip off the tongue though? Quite. Quite right. <laughs> I made my way through the halls, not even sparing anyone thoughts as I went into my room. I locked my door and laid down for the night. I must have been tired because I fell asleep as soon as my head hit the pillow. Kaide. Kaide! Kibo again? Can somebody please let Kaide sleep? Jesus. These people are worse than me with Sora, dude. <laughs> Every time Kaide tries to sleep, they wake her up. They're like, mm, nope. Ag! I seemingly woke up at a desk once again in the same room as before. Oh, weird. What the? Does he take me here? What the? Kaide. Oh, Kaide, you're here. I don't have a lot of time today. Just, just told me I couldn't be. Okay. I can hardly understand you. Y you okay? Kibo, you dying again? 
hiding. I'm serious. I d I'm serious too. Who are you? Unless wait, is this Shuichi talking to me through the thing? Kaide, I can't. Bzz, bzz. Maybe it is Shuichi talking through the computer thing. Well, I want answers. I'm sick of going to sleep and being handed more questions than I had before. If you weren't just some random voice I came up with, I'd clearly have an answer. Kaide, I'm here to. Bzz, I'm bzz, here to help. That's gotta be Shuichi, come on. I'm tired and frustrated. I'm done blindly following this. If you're really here to help, then help me. Tell me who, who you are and what you're doing. Tell me why I'm... Boom! Oh, shoot. What the? My rent was cut off by the ground below me, trembling violently. Okay, somebody really slayed up. <laughs> 21, can you explode something for me? I looked down in shock before another shake sent me to the ground. A piece of the ceiling clattered to the floor and the desk around me tipped and rattled. Jesus Christ. What? What is this? What is going on? Kaide, you've got to calm. <laughs> you gonna just tell me? Dude, can you just say Shuichi? I, I can't hear you. God, it's not. Oh, shoot. The ground's all messed up. Well, this is like a dream of some sort. Gotta keep them. Tell everyone. Do, tell everybody not to slay. Hope. <laughs> yeah, that, thank you. Thank you, Shuichi. I'll tell them that. I'll tell them hope. They'll, they'll love that. <laughs> hope. Boom. Guys, a disembodied voice told me to hope. That. <laughs> We've solved it. We've solved despair. There we go. I hardly heard what the voice said as suddenly a loud explosion echoed my ears. Ah! Probably was just like a dream again. Yeah, I shot up in bed looking around wildly for any trace of that voice again or the explosions. Ugh, why can't I have a normal dream for once? It's like about puppies or... Does anybody have... Does anybody really have dreams about puppies and rainbows, though? Why do I dream that stupid voice over and over again? God, that stupid beta-sounding voice of a nerd who I would never want to hang out with. A nerd who reminds me of, like, a little buddy, you know? Somebody that'd be, like, my little friend. My little my little buddy. Somebody who would be, like, a brother to me. <laughs> just, like, keeps going on. Shuichi's watching, like... Oh, God. My heart. My pain. I'm done listening to whatever my mind comes up with. I don't need this today. Knock, knock. What are y'all singing? <laughs> Tell me why in the chat. Tell me why. I pulled open the door to see Taka standing in the doorway. Okamatsu, are you ready for breakfast? Yep, just a second. I guess it could be Makoto, too, actually. Since he was talking about hope. That's more of his thing rather than Sayara. I hurriedly got ready before getting back to the floor. Door, fixing my hair as I stepped into the hall. Good morning, Akamatsu. Sayaka has requested your presence at the breakfast table. She wishes to speak about. She wants to talk about the concert. Yay, it's more of a wholesome day today, it seems. Well, I guess, <laughs> like at the end of the video, so I'm like, mm, never mind. Wholesome morning. <laughs> morning. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, you two. Like, something bad's gonna happen soon, I think. I waved goodbye to Taka and Chihiro before making my way down the hall. I made a direct path to the dining hall. Sayaka, hey! Oh, good morning, Kaide. I'm glad you made it. I wouldn't miss it. What's going on? Yeah, definitely the calm before the storm. I want to talk to you about the concert. Plus, I wanted your help handing out food. Yeah, the concert's where somebody's gonna die. Ibuki, Rantara, and Angie made breakfast. Those three made breakfast? Where the heck is Kokichi? <laughs> we, like, see Kokichi and somehow his bruise has gotten worse. He just, like, keeps adding makeup to it. He adds, like, some lipstick to make it look like it's bleeding. He's like, no, it's bleeding, guys. It's getting even worse. You guys are so mean. <laughs> it was mostly Rantara and Angie. Ibuki was talking a lot about cookies, but that's not really breakfast. Uh, yeah, it's Ibuki. That is totally 100% her. Wouldn't change it for the world! <laughs> Siaka and I entered the kitchen where Rontaro and Angie were setting down plates and bowls of food. Um, it smells amazing, you guys! 
I just noticed, God, why is there so many freaking like bell peppers here, dude? Is that just another stack of bell peppers? Just like yellow bell peppers? There's like green bell peppers behind there. Is that all Monokuma gave them to eat? <laughs> it's like a motive. All you can eat this before somebody dies is bell peppers! <laughs> hmm, it smells amazing, you guys. Thank you, I used ideas from dishes on my home island. Steamed bell peppers with fried bell peppers. Oh, that's so sweet. The bell pepper bagel. Yes, I'm so glad I get to share it with all of you. Well, let's get moving. I bet everybody is starving. Everyone grab plates and went out, setting what they held down in front of the others. After everything was set up, set out, we took our seats and started eating. Hey, uh, Kaide, about your concert, what's going on with it? Uh, what do you mean? I mean somebody's obviously gonna die at this stupid thing, right? What time is it? Okay. Oh, um, it's at noon. It'll give us time to set up rehearse and for everybody else to get ready. Sounds good! The morning was actually pretty quiet and everybody was calm. It felt nice not to worry or be upset. Or so I thought. Here's Kokishi gonna come in with his bloody, his bloody cheek. He started punching his other cheek just to make uh, another bruise. He's like, Rantaro did it again, guys. He just can't stop. Or so I thought. Ag, would you quit? Oh, what's going on? Kokishi looked up at Miyu, who was across from him, tilting his head with no reply. Oh, the bruise is gone. Um, I think he's confused. I don't care what he is. Quit kicking me, will ya? Kokichi offered a small grin as he nudged Kibo and shook his head. He said he isn't... Oh, wait. <laughs> What's going on? Why is he being weird? I'm not talking to you guys. I can understand simple gestures. Kibo will talk for me. Because you guys are all bullies. Oh! Miu, calm down. I'll calm down when he quits kicking me. Actually, you know what? Forget it. I ain't gonna waste my time with a shit stain. Mew stood up and walked off in a fit of rage, leaving Kokichi sitting there with a large smile on his face. Yay! I got rid of her! Kokichi, did I do okay? What is going on with these two? Kokichi nodded. He looked around before pointing at me and then shaking his head. What? Now get rid of her, Akibo. <laughs> Passive aggressive her away from me. Um, I think he's saying he, uh, I don't know. I can't talk. My vocal cords exploded. That's why I have to do this. <laughs> you know, when, when Rontaro punched me, it also took out my vocal cords. I just, I, I can't speak. He made a large gesture, sticking his tongue out and giving a thumbs down, causing Kibo to be even more confused. Kokichi gestured for him to lean down and whispered something to him. Kokichi said he isn't coming to your, um... I don't think this, but he said he's not coming <laughs> to your dumb concert. Well then, where will he be? Slang, probably. Yeah. He said outside? Outside the concert hall? Or oh, outside the killing game, whatever. Whatever, we could care less about that little shit. I'm just saying what he tells me. You're doing great, Keebs. Aw, little Keebs. <laughs> Poor little guy. Y you sure? But stop enabling him, okay? Um, you'll be at the party though, right? Yeah, I want to see all my decorations. Aw, yeah. Cutie. As everybody began to chat again, I hardly noticed Kokichi standing up and leaving. Ugh. I feel kind of bad. Kokichi should be able to enjoy this too, but I guess it's what he wants. Siaka, Buki, Leon, let's go finish up so we have time to practice. Woo! Almost concert time, baby! You know what that means. Sounds good. I wonder if they're gonna actually have a song. That'd be kind of cool to hear, like, a, a song for it. We all went to the concert hall, and after a few hours of practice, it was time for the party. Unfortunately, if there is a song, I'll probably have to mute it, because I even, like, uh... Even the song from, uh, SDRA2 got copyright claimed. The one that, uh, Kaede... Uh, Kanade and Hibiki did. I offered to stand outside and see people in. Slowly, everyone began to enter enter the concert hall. Hey, Chihiro! 
Hi, Kaine. I'm so excited. Thanks for putting this on for us. At the lovely, world-renowned Titty Typhoon. No problem. Your keyboard really came in handy. <laughs> I'm glad. See you inside. Ah, oh, hello, mortal. I've arrived to attend your gathering. Glad you can make it, Gundam. Are the divas here, too? Of course, I only hope my dark divas will take a while to my temporary absence. You're not bringing them? Loud noises are not good for hamsters. I shall leave them here outside until I return. Alright, have fun. I shall. I am looking forward to your performance with great anticipation. After that, Miu, Kiba, Angie, and Rantaro arrived. I waved them in before waiting, waiting for the last people to show up. I gotta, I was like, oh man, I just have like a, a burst of creativity in my brain. It's like for the next stream opening, I gotta make the uh, devas like yassified <laughs> for the opening. <laughs> gotta give them the little nails and the eyelashes. That'd be so cute for the stream opening. Well, are you ready, Mondo? Um, yeah, let's head inside. As Taka and Mondo headed for the door, Taka's foot slipped. One of the loose rocks that were scattered by the venue. Just outside, wait. I was, uh... You guys are saying... Wait. I shall... Not good. I shall leave them here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was too busy thinking about that. You're not bringing them? Loud noise are not good for the hamsters. I shall leave them here outside. Dude, if somebody kills the hamsters, I'm gonna freak out. Side. Uh, all right, have fun. Oh no. Okay, is it, he he's gonna be with them? Uh, glad you can make a Gundam. We'll take well to my temporary absence. No, he's just leaving them outside, right? You're not bringing them? Uh, if somebody kills the hamsters, I will never forgive them. Loud noises are not good for the hamsters. I shall leave them here outside until I return. All right, have fun. Okay, little hamsters, goodbye divas. Oh, shall I'm looking forward to your performance with great anticipation. After that, Miyu, Kibo, Angie, Rantaro arrived. I waved them in before waiting for the last people to show up. Well, are you ready, Mondo? Oh my god, a little date night for them. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just head inside. You guys gonna hold hands? Oh my gosh. As Taka and Mondo headed for the door, Taka's foot slipped on one of those loose rocks that were scattered by the venue. Talk. Oh, God, no. No! Is he gonna change into Ishida? God, no. Taka! Mondo reached out, catching Taka before he could fall. The two stood there for a moment. Oh, no! Oh, my God, no! It's one of those, like, little shoujo moments where they, like, fall and they, like, hug and embrace. And it's like, oh, my God, we're so, like, close together. Thank you for saving my fall. Oh, oh, bless you. Oh, no. Oh, let me move. And I'll blush. Oh, cute. Good, good, good. Oh, I was so scared he was going to hit his head and turn to a sheet. I was like, no, please. Mondo reached out, catching Taka before he could fall. The two stood there for a moment before he was separating awkwardly. Those rocks are safety hazard. We should... Could be careful walking around here. Ah, cute! <laughs> Mondo nodded, the two of them heading into the building. I turned to head in after them. But before I did... Oh, wait, Kokichi's here too? I spotted Kokichi leaning against the wall of the venue. I almost said something, but Ibuki's voice was calling me in. At least Kokichi can watch the hamsters. You better not fucking touch those hamsters, Kokichi. There you are, Kaede. Everyone's here. Are you ready? Sure am. Kokichi's still outside. I guess he really doesn't want to come. That's his choice, then. I wouldn't worry about him. Yeah, seems like it's just Kokichi being Kokichi to me. At least somebody's watching the hamsters. Yeah, I guess you're right. Siaka stepped uh, up onto the stage, holding a microphone. She began to speak, gathering everybody's attention. Hey, everyone! We're so glad you could make it. Feel free to take a seat or do whatever makes you comfy. So without further ado, let's get started! Yay! Comfy check, Sayaka! A hush fell over the room as we took the stage. Let's see. Counter time! Ah, oh, cuties! Ah, oh, look at them! Ah, oh, serve! Slay it! Ah, oh, that's so cute! <laughs> I kind of feel like they unplugged, uh... They unplugged Leon's guitar. It's like, why can't they hear my guitar? 
Because, like, okay, so I used to do um, a decent, well, I used to play guitar a decent bit, like, uh, growing up. And I was into music for a while, um, like, in college and stuff, too. So I would do, like, some performances. And whenever you, like, perform, I feel like with a band, you're, like, watching a band. I feel like you just don't hear the acoustic guitar at all. Like, I feel like you could unplug it. And, like, most of the time you wouldn't notice over, like, the electric guitar and the piano and stuff. <laughs> That's cute. They do look really cute, though. I like the CG so much. Wow, it's so pretty. Aw, uh, look at them slaying in the good way. Aw, cute. Ship, 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 ship. <laughs> Guys, it said slay int. Uh, well, did I, did I say slay? I think I did say slay. My bad. Yay. Guys, they're serving, okay? They're slaying in the good way. <laughs> they're slaying in the good way, guys. The three of us went first, and we sounded beautiful. Leon and Siaka were next. It was an incredible. It was incredible to hear them together. You could really tell how much they love music. Oh, that's cute. See, he is, he is good. He, they they couldn't mute him for uh, that part unless they had like a buki uh, playing the guitar behind the curtain. <laughs> it's like don't look behind the curtain. That's cute. Finally, we all played together. I realized then how much I had missed this. Missed music. Oh, that's so cute. Ah, oh, what an adorable little concert. I want to make this the thumbnail. It's so cute. Music brings people together. It has the power to make them happy. It brought all of us hope. It's another cursed word. As we finished the final song, everybody clapped one last time before making their way to get snacks and drinks. We sounded amazing. We all did. Siaka bounced around like an excited child, and I could tell she missed this a bunch. Aw. Leon, let's go get some snacks. Oh no. Uh, now I'm like getting scared. I'm like, okay, the concert's done. I'm like, oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. Oh god, I'm so scared. Hopefully everything will be okay. Leon raced off with Siaka. I'm just like, they're leaving together. They just had a cute moment. Are they gonna die? Are they gonna die? We'll see, we'll see. Leon raced off with Siaka. Their hands. Oh! Cute! Your hands are in a lock. Some time passed and I didn't notice the person approaching me. You also want to hold hands, Kaede. Kaede, you did amazing out there. You were so freaking cool. Fell in love with you all over again. Really? Thank you. Actually, I was thinking during the show, you've been here, you've been here for me a lot. We both have. And I really appreciate it. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could, I, I don't know. Rotaro trailed off, looking away before letting out a breath. He leaned in towards me, but just as soon as I saw him, I did it. No, 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 Rotaro, no, Rotaro. Oh, oh, the oh no, it's not gonna run but doing it. Damn it! Oh god, Kaide, quick, hold on to Rotaro, let it save him. Ah, Boogie's gone blind! Oh, shoot. Um, Everyone stay calm! Hey, listen. Yeah, what she said. Does anyone have a source of light? Oh, God. Kibo? Kibo, you're here, right? I do. Okay, come on, Kibo. Let's light it up. Light it up. Come on, buddy. Don't... I turned to the sound of Kibo's voice, expecting light. I didn't get any. Did somebody kill Kibo? It's not working. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no. So much time is passing. Let's find the doors. Try to get some light. Oh my god. I'll try and find the breaker. Oh gosh. I am so scared. Place my hand on the wall, feeling around for anything. It took a few minutes, but I eventually felt the shape of a box. I pried it open and began to flip a few of the switches. Flip it up and down until it works. The lights turned back on, and when they did, I saw... Oh, no. Please don't let it be Kivo. Every <laughs> Everything seems to be normal. Ah, oh, great. So glad. Everything normal as usual. Hey, everyone's all right. Whoa. I don't know, man. Maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody died outside? God, where is Rontaro and Kibo? That's who I care about the most. That's a relief. We decided to call it a day after that. I was the first one to leave the venue. <laughs> I feel so weird. I'm like, wait, did really nobody die? Oh, oh God. 
I wish I hadn't opened those doors because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have seen. Oh, shit. I don't know. I kind of feel like it might be Gundam, honestly. He was given death flags. <gasps> no! Damn it! No! The hamster! Why would you do this in front of the hamsters? You dicks! Oh, Kukichi! Oh, whoa! Kukichi, too? Shit! Oh, whoa! Both of them? Wow! Oh! Oh, my God! I actually didn't expect Kokichi to die! Holy frick! Oh my god, wow, that's crazy! No, the hamsters! Why would you do this? This is so messed! Why would you kill him in front of the hamsters, bro? What kind of sick, twisted... Oh my god! I will never forgive this killer! During the party, someone managed to murder two people! So, okay, I got it. They turned out the lights so they could escape to kill them and then come back. So somebody, like, hypothetically, if it was, like, I don't think it was Ibuki, but if it was Ibuki, she could be, like, you know, <laughs> stabbing. I'm just getting my glasses of stabbing, like, oh, wow, guys, that's so crazy. It's dark in here. <laughs> then she, like, goes back in. Wow, that's so weird. During the party, someone managed to murder two people. Someone killed Kokichi and Gundam. Wow. I really did not expect Kokichi to die. I thought he would kind of live till the end, actually, after last chapter. He seems so important. Damn. Dang. No, Gundam. Damn, that sucks. I love Gundam so much. He's so cute. That sucks. Okay, uh, crap. Let me uh, try to get the quality. There we go. Hey, Kaido. You all good out? Holy shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. What about the divas? What are they going to do without him? Kokichi and Gundam there. Oh my god, can Kaide wear the divas though from now on? Can they be on her little shoulders for the rest of the game? That'd be pretty cute, please. <laughs> pretty please. Kokichi and Gundam there. As I stammered out the words, everyone else rushed over to the side of the music venue. Man. Oh! Oh! Dang, yeah, only one dog in our but two character is alive now. That's crazy. A body has been discovered! Well, you know the drill! Time to investigate before our trial will commence! Are they really? Cause no, Gundam, Kokichi. Ah. Jihiro, come on! Don't get close to the. Ah, oh, that's kind of cute, Miu and uh, Jihiro's relationship. Jihiro sunk down in front of Kokichi, shaking as he cried at the sight. Oh, poor Jihiro. Yeah, they did seem kind of close. Kokichi, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, I'm gonna miss Kokichi. That little shithead, dude. I'm so sad. Shihiro stood up from the ground and turned to face everyone. He held the same angry look as before. Uh-oh. Whoever did this, I'm... Oh, we're gonna figure this out, you hear me? And you're gonna get executed! I'm not gonna let you get away with hurting my friend! Oh, man. Gee, come on, let's take a break, man. You don't need to keep looking. Yeah, poor Shihiro, dude. No, heck, someone hurt my friend, and... Heck, heck, I'm gonna get to the bottom of it! Wait, Kaide, you see it too, right? Wait. See it too? See what? Look closer. Huh? I did what Rontara said. I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh, is he... S oh! <laughs> oh, you guys thought I died? Oh, silly. You can't kill the ultimate supreme leader with this army of 12,000 members. As I stared at Kokichi, his hand twitched. <laughs> we kind of fucked up if Chihiro was like, oh, okay, I'm cool now. I don't really care about Gundam. I was just kind of upset about Kokichi. <laughs> that would be so bad. They stared at Kokichi, his hand twitched. Oh, guys, Kokichi's still alive. Okay, wow. <laughs> Never mind. What? How could that be? Oh, wait. Uh, there's a dono, too. Thank you. Uh, oh, thank you, Andrew Marsh. But please remember, no um, spoilers, hints, or uh, predictions, please. And thank you, Spanish Fly, for, uh, you know, moderating and all that stuff. The kill, the killer must have messed up their attack. <laughs> Dude, Kokishi's be like, um, okay, so it was like kind of who did it. <laughs> the killer just come out and say who did it. <laughs> what a dumb killer, dude. Uh, you thought you got me. Hey, you should know how hard-headed I am, man. Well, if that's the case, then why are we just sitting around? We gotta help him before we really do have two bodies. Hick, I'll, um, um. No, I'll take him to the nurse's office. I'll see if we can patch him up. And if we can, um, we'll see if he knows anything. 
I'll come to you. I have an extensive knowledge on medical procedures. I'm sure it can be put to good use. I'll help too. I've had to patch up some of my guys before. Plus, I can wait outside. So no one get any smart ideas. Alright, then let's get moving. He's lost a lot of blood and I don't think he has much time left. Rontaro picks up Kokichi, muttering something under his breath. Come on, bud. Stay with us. The three of us headed for the nurse's office, leaving the rest of us with... Gundam. Hmm. I kind of wonder if somebody else is going to die while we're... While we're uh, cannot speak. While we're all uh, split up, you know what I mean? Makes you wonder. But I guess we'll see. Gundam. Oh, or Kokichi faked it? Oh, that would be interesting. That actually really would be a good, like, um, diversion to be like, I couldn't have done it because, like, I got hit too. But I guess if he's, like, on the verge of death, that probably wouldn't make as much sense, you know what I mean? I feel like usually when killers do that, it's like, they just kind of give themselves, like, a little scratch and they're like, look at my boo-boo. <laughs> Nobody could have done, see, I can't be the killer. Somebody w must have done this to me. Buki kneeled down and picked up the Davis, who were desperately pawing at Gundam. No! Trying to wake him up! I hate it here. Shush, you guys shouldn't see this. Ibuki, I'll keep you safe. No, you guys! Ibuki, how about you take them to your room? Make sure they're okay. Oh, guys! I'm on it. This is making me want to hug my cat. Ibuki headed off with the hamsters. That left me, Leon, Anjay, Siaka, Miyu, Kibo, and Chihiro. No, that's so sad, dude. They're trying to wake him up, the little guys. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just dead on the inside. Well, that's odd. Oh, God. Dude, ah, that really tore me up, man. The little... <laughs> it's giving, like, Lion King when, like, Simba was trying to wake up his dad. Like, ah, I hate it. It's so sad. <sighs> Just breathe. Breathe, weedy. It's okay. What's up, Angie? Gundam's neck is very swollen, plus it's bent. Does the Monokuma file say anything on it? The victim is Gundam Tanaka, the ultimate breeder. The body was discovered outside the music venue on the island. The estimated time of death is 12.40 p.m. The victim died due to a broken neck. No other injuries or foreign substances were detected. Monokuma file number three has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Uh, poor Gundam. Well, it says here he died to a broken neck. Yeah, then I was... Why are you so happy, girl? No! Oh, I'm so glad I was correct. God, he must have fallen somehow and hit his neck. W Angie! That'd make a lot of sense, actually. Ishimaru tripped earlier, and that could have hurt him. We're, we're not for Mondo. I see, so all the big pointy rocks around here must be a clue. Seems like it, and we should assume if we notice them. Anyone else could have, too. Okay, so somebody just, like, pushed him, basically, onto the rocks. Hey, Kaidi, if you're done, want to come take a peek at this? Uh, what is it? <clears throat> Mew handed me a sheet of paper. Huh? What is this? Oh, okay, like a map or something. Oh, I guess like all the exit doors. A map you here and I sketched up. We're adding some smaller touches, but we have the general layout. Maybe you could put it to some good use. Okay, cool. Do, do. Thanks a bunch. I'll give it a good look. It seems that the storage room has another door. That leads outside, as well as one behind the stage curtain. Okay. Maybe I should check out those spots and see if there are any clues there that could help. I wonder... I don't know. Would it make sense if one of the people who was, like, singing, like, uh, one of the performers did it? Because they could have, like, set up I feel like they would be, like, the main people who would, like, scope out the venue before it happened. I guess there was people who, like, helped with dec decor, too. But, uh, if there's stuff in, like, I don't know, like, the backstage, like, the green room, green, green room area. I'm gonna kind of feel like it might be, like, one of the, uh, performers. Yo, Kaide, where are you heading? I'm gonna go check the storage room. The storage room? Why there? We should investigate the entire area, right? 
Well, I don't know. I would have said something if that place was just... Why are you being weird? <laughs> I feel like Leon's being weird now. Well, why? Why do you want to check the storage room so bad? Um, let me let me scope it out first. Give me like 30 minutes and like a trash bag so I can like move some stuff out of there before you uh look at it, Kaide. <laughs> um, what do you mean? Freaking weirdo. You and your weird ass pin on your jacket. Ubuki, Mondo, Siaka, and I were all talking over there for a little while. Mondo went to go talk to Taka, and I don't know where Ibuki went. Before the lights went out, we didn't hear any commotion by the door, honest. Actually, Siaka was holding on to me the whole time. She was kind of hanging on to me the whole time. I kind of kind of got Riz, you know, a bit more than uh, Riz Taro, some might say. So it would have been, so we would have been blocking the door. I don't know, dude. I feel like you're being weird. Still a can't hurt to check, but thanks for the information. Leon's account, okay. Maybe it's just the account that we needed to add, but I just feel like he was being really weird. Like, no reason to check that! Nope! No reason whatsoever! Made my way to the storage room, and I looked around, I noticed Siaka and Shihiro investigating as well. Hey guys, find anything? Oh, hey guys, find anything? Some boxes and a few other things are jumbled around, but other than that, everything seems okay. And um, there's some cases. Cassette tapes and drums moved around. But why? We didn't use any of that for our concert. I wonder why it got moved. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out at the trial. Yeah. Somebody was searching in here. Moved music supplies. Trying to get something to use as a weapon in here? The three of us left the room and made our way to the area behind the stage curtain. Um, there's a door back here, but could anybody have used it? Let's find out. Where'd you come from? Oh yeah, you're the thing I made. Kibo, don't sneak up on us like that. Oh man, I really hope it's not Kibo. I would freak out. Sorry, I just wanted to help investigate too. I just wanted to be helpful. Oh, is Barbie here? Hey, welcome Barbie to the stream. Glad you got to stop by. Barbie's the creator for anybody who's wondering. It's fine, Kibos. We're just trying to figure out if anybody could have used the story during the blackout. Well, that depends on if the curtain lets light through, right? If it doesn't, then somebody could have used the door. Right, because we wouldn't have been able to see it. We wouldn't be able to see it opening from the other side. Then we should test it. There's a circuit breaker right by the door we can use. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because if they just like open the front door, then that wouldn't, that wouldn't make much sense because then light would be lit in inside. Good idea. See how can you hear it? Can you two go stand on the other side of the curtain? Of course. Those two moved to the other side, and Kibo and I stood by the door. I opened the breaker and flipped a few switches. Just like before, it was pitch black. Kibo, who had his hand on the door, pushed it open. Can you... can you see any light? <laughs> I think we can all see some light. No, no, it's totally dark. Oh, she's on the other side of the curtain. We can't see a thing. Okay, so they could have used this door. Huh, so the curtain really does block all the light from this side. Obtain truth bullet, stage curtain. I'll have to take a look at the map again to kind of remember the layout. We turned the lights back on and headed back to the main area with Sayaka and Shihiro. Hey Kibo, I've been meaning to ask, meaning to ask, do you know why your lights aren't working anymore? Oh, wait, hmm. I was like, dang, would that make like Shihiro or Miyu suspicious that they like, I don't know, like decided to work on Kibo to make sure his lights wouldn't work for a little bit? You know, like, if they, like, like, if Miu, like, hypothetically, Miu play on this murder, and so she was like, you know, I gotta make sure that his lights don't work so I can kill somebody in the meantime. I feel like it would make sense for it to be one of them if that's the case, but just, just a quick thought. I mean, it could be another reason why his lights aren't working, but that's definitely something to take into consideration with this murder scheme. Oh, yeah, after the blackout the other night, I've been feeling pretty drained. Actually, they went out just after you went back into your room and haven't worked since. Who knew about this? Yeah, I guess if they just knew about it in general, they could use it. And the people out in the hall that night, and I told Angie and Ishimaru when we were hanging out. Okay. All right, thanks, Keebs. Little Keebs. Kibo's account. I guess it could also be Kibo. <laughs> I guess it could also be Kibo, and he's just like, oh no, my lights don't work for some reason. But I would never, I would never suspect him. He's done nothing wrong his entire life. Next, we looked around the venue for any circuit breakers. We found two, one by one, one by the storage room and the other by the backstage door. I marked their locations on the map. 
Circuit breakers. Okay, cool. After that, I went back to outside. I wanted to get another look at the crime scene. I'm already... I'd already looked at Gundam, but I wanted to see what... See about Kokichi. There was a bloody rock lying where he was. It makes sense that this is what Kokichi was hit with. It's the only rock here with blood on it. Bloody rock. It's just like, man, would he really do this to himself, though? I don't know. Gundam's scarf was lying nearby. It seems to have fallen off. Was there a struggle here? Okay. There wasn't really that much time to do the murder, you know what I mean? Okay, I think that's everything to see here. I need to try and figure out how Gundam got it, got out here in the first place. I decided to go find Ibuki. She was in her room comforting the Davis. Oh, the little guys! The little Davis! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. It's so sad. Hey, Ibuki. Are you alright? Oh, my God. It's too freaking sad. Ibuki will be... It's like Ibu, Ibuki is traumatized for life. Ibuki will be. Did you find any clues, Kaide? The little Davis. Sam, I was hoping you could help me, though. Do you remember if Gundam left the venue during the party? Oh, right. After the songs, he told Ibuki he was going to step out and check on the Davis. He never came out. I see. Do you remember what time he left? It was about 12.35. Uh, okay. So just before the blackout, Gundam left the venue. Yeah, I was going to say, it'd be kind of hard if he... Like, got dragged out there, you know what I mean? Abuki's account! Well, that's everything I can think of to investigate, except... Kokichi. I was a little nervous, but I knew I had to go check on Kokichi. That little douche. <laughs> I made my way to the nurse's office and slowly opened the door. Hey, guys! Kaide, hey. I feel like he's probably gonna be knocked out the whole trial. How is he? He's still out, but we've stopped the bleeding. He's a tough little dude. I think he's gonna make it. That's great, but we still need... I almost kind of forgot it was the third chapter for a second. I was like... Oh, wait. <laughs> that was weird timing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Weeby, would he really do that to himself, Kokichi? Casually planned my death in the last game. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I guess Kokichi would do that then. <laughs> uh, for gore. Oh, God. Did somebody else die then? Because I was, like, kind of forgetting. Oh, wait, no. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, oh, is nobody else going to die? I was like, wow, I kind of forgot it was chapter three for a second since, uh, you know, Kokichi's knocked out, but I don't think he's going to die. Ahem, time's up, everyone! Please make your way to the elevator for the class trial! What? But we need Kokichi! He could have important information about the case! I know, but there's nothing we can... See it come to life? No, this isn't fair! I won't stand for this! It's just like, Kokichi, get your ass up! Ugh, ugh. <laughs> Monokuma, I know you can hear me! You called? Gah! I jumped as Monokuma suddenly appeared behind us. Ooh, a double Culpra would be nice. I, I would love to see that. Yeah, we can't start the trial without Kokichi. It isn't fair. She's right. I agree. Aw, oh, come on. It's just a little concussion. I'll get over it. Kokichi is a key witness. Without his testimony, can we really make a proper judgment? Unbelievable kids these days with your justice complex. Fine. I'll see what I can do about Sleeping Beauty over there. And when he decides to wake up, I'll bring him to the trial. But so we're, you're just going to start it anyways? No buts. Now let's just get the show on the road, okay? I'm on a very tight schedule. Monokuma ushered all us all to the door. But just as we were about to leave... Uh, what? Oh, hey, you up? What's going on? Rontaro punched me again? <laughs> I swear to God, if Kokichi comes out here saying some wild shit, being like, It was Kaide who did it. <laughs> it was Rontaro who did it. I am just gonna... Just gonna <laughs> oh, but that is what I love about Kokichi at the same time, honestly. Kokichi's eyes fluttered open before he winced in pain. He sat up a bit on the bed, looking at us all in confusion. Where am I? Who's Joe? What happened? 
Why am I? Rontaru stepped forward, keeping his voice low. Kokichi's head was probably killing him. Kokichi, what's the last thing you remember? I... Let's see... Enough! <laughs> I'm freaking Monokuma! <laughs> Enough! I'm not delaying this trial another second! Everyone to the elevator! <laughs> At trial? Hey, what the heck? But I'm not dead. But Kokichi... Can come when he's ready, now shoot! Freaking Monokuma, dude. It goes like five minutes to investigate. I'll do it. I will do the trial. Huh? I watched as Kokichi shakily stood up from the bed, glaring at Monokuma. I'll come to your stupid trial. It'd be boring without me, right? Nice. But Kokichi, you... Redemption! It's time for my redemption. Rampa. Don't get the wrong idea. I just can't let you idiots vote wrong and get killed with you. Yeah, <laughs> sure, buddy. Well then, let's get the show on the road. I have a feeling this is gonna be a good one. We all made our way to the elevator where the others were waiting for us. Kokichi, thank goodness you're okay. I was so worried. Kokichi laughed, albeit a bit forced, before responding. <laughs> Coughs up blood, I'm dying on the inside. Nah, don't be an idiot, Chihiro. You really think I'd die that easily? Besides, there's way bigger things to worry about. He's right, we gotta figure out who did this. For Gundam, for the Davas, for the Divas. The Diva Davas. For a split second, Kokichi's eyes widened as Obiki said, as, what did I just say? A bit, Ibiki? <laughs> Ibiki said his name, Gundams. Is that gonna trigger a memory, hopefully? He glanced. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember I was trying to kill him. Hell, <laughs> He glanced away for a moment before shaking his head and plastering on a grin. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go before Monokuma kills us for making him wait. Wait, Kokichi, one more thing. Do you know who killed Gundam? Uh, Kokichi paused for a moment and his expression grew serious. No, I don't. What about... Huh, interesting. I kind of honestly thought he was just going to screw with us, but we'll see. Save it for the trial. Kaide. Kokichi needs to know what happened, and we need to know what he saw. We have to take it one thing at a time, or we'll all get confused. Okay, so he doesn't actually remember. Yeah, you're right. I guess they could have come up from behind, knocked him out, and then killed Gundam. Probably something like that. With one last nod, I took Rentaro's hand. Ah, oh, they're holding hands again! And stepped into the elevator. I can hear Shuichi crying in the distance. <laughs> ah, poor, poor little man. <laughs> poor, poor little buddy Shuichi. Someone here tried to end two lives, but only succeeded in taking one. What a loser. And together, we're gonna figure out who it was. Trial of death, trial of life, class trial. I can't remember how the rest of the rap goes. Now let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial! During the trial, you present your arguments for the culprit and vote for who did it! Go correctly and the only black will be punished, but if you pick the wrong one... I feel like I've played so many Fangan Rampas and like Dongan Rampa games at this point. I've like ba basically like memorized this intro. I feel like I could just say it based off of memory now. You better vote for the right one! As you can see, even, as you can see I've included another stand for our new student! Just because he's a little late to the party doesn't mean he gets to sit out. It's kind of interesting that Monokuma is so cool with uh, Kibo showing up, you know what I mean? Um, thanks? I think? Now let's get this class trial underway! I took a deep breath, trying to think of where to start. Wow, this will be the easiest fucking trial ever. Uh huh. Let's see. I mean, we have a witness right here, you little shit. Tell us who did it. I was like, you know, that, now that I think about it, um, Miu was always, like, weirdly right in V3. Like, at the beginning of every trial, she'd be like, Kurekio did it because he's creepy. <laughs> she would always seem like the right person for the wrong reasons. Okay, it'd be kind of funny if she did that in this game, too. I gotta pay attention to her. I don't know, dumbass. The fuck you mean you don't know? How could you not see who clocked you? Actually, there's a perfectly logical reason Kokichi didn't see who attacked him. Sit in the back of his head, dummies. 
I get it. It makes sense. Kikichi doesn't know who attacked him. He was hit on the back of his head. So the culprit could have snuck up on him before he could see who it was. Oh, I see. I think we should try and put together a timeline of events. That should give us a clearer picture of what happened. Good idea. Where should we start? I think we should go back to before the blackout even happened. Non-stop debate. Yeah, I kind of want to figure out who is, um... I don't know, doing sussy stuff, like planning this, you know what I mean? How did Gundam get outside the venue in the first place? Perhaps he was dragged outside? Nah, he just walked outside to check on the divas! The divas. And maybe the body was moved? You guys are all so dumb. <laughs> what would y'all do without me? Or what if he just left? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Why are you guys coming up with all these crazy conspiracy theories? I guess we can't say for sure, and we'll never know. No, I'm pretty sure I know how Gundam got outside. He just walked. <laughs> oh, man. I love it when characters in Dog and Romper are so extra. He probably just walked out the front door, and then the killer used the back door with the curtain blocking it. Kind of seems like it. Yay! I agree with that! Consent! That's right, Mondo. Gundam left the venue just before the blackout. He told Ibuki. That's right! How do we know Ibuki isn't lying to cover her own tracks? Because Gundam told me he was leaving the Davis outside too, so it makes sense he would leave to check on them. So Kaede, so Kaede can back up Abuki's statement. Abubi's, <laughs> Abuki's statement. Plus it seems like the most likely option. I think it's like when the streams go on for a longer time, it gets harder to speak. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Okay. Plus it seems like the most likely option. So after that, the lights went out and we never even heard him say anything. Correct, and do we know what could have caused the blackout? That's, oh, there's only one thing that makes sense, right, Kaide? The breaker, the circuit breaker, smashing light bulbs, that is so true, bestie. If only. I got it! I got it. The circuit breakers, Monokuma told all of us that messing with them can cause a blackout. Our culprit must have flipped some of the switches when no one was looking. <laughs> in the chat. Sorry guys, just got booby on the brains, you know? <laughs> well, that makes the music gang pretty suspicious, right? After all, you guys spent a lot of time in the venue. True, but the blackout happened over half an hour into the party. Anybody could have wandered around and found the breakers. They weren't exactly hidden. A lot of people went into, like, planning the party, too, you know what I mean? So we can't rule out... So we can't rule anyone out yet. Right, after the lights went out, somebody must have slipped outside to commit the murder. How about we talk about where we found the body, Kaide? Sounds good. I know, I put it on like 1.5 speed just because, uh, I guess I kind of talk fast. It just kind of sounds funny with the music like that, though. Well, no offense to hear, but that's the... But that's a lame start. I mean, come on, we know where the body was found. But it could give us some serious hints to who could have hurt Kokichi and killed Gundam. Miyu's got a point. We found it outside. What else is there to it? I feel like it's always good to talk about that. Exactly. The killer probably just walked out using the main door and then walked back in. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Miyu is such a dumbass. <laughs> Do you? Doesn't seem like Miyu is uh, doing too good in this uh, case, at least. Granted, I guess in V3 she was always right for the wrong reasons, but you know. The back door. No, that's wrong. Break. Hold on a second, Mia. You and Shihiro drew a map of the venue, didn't you? Yeah, and. Let's look at it again. 
According to the map, no one could have used the main door without letting in light from the outside. And since none of us saw that, we can conclude the door wasn't used during the blackout. Then how did the killer get outside? <laughs> They're like, wait, was there a second door? Mind blown. Well, there's still the possibility someone could have used one of the other doors, guys. <laughs> other, whoa! <laughs> other what? I think Heidi means the doors in the storage room and backstage. Oh, there's a storage room door? <laughs> now I'm the idiot. I, I, the idiot. I didn't even notice that. I guess this is where the bodies were, too. So that was Kokichi, I guess. And then um, Gundam. I mean, it makes the most sense it'd be the stage door rather than the, um, you know, storage door and definitely not the front door. Exactly. There were circuit breakers right by both, so it wouldn't have been hard to find to find the door, even in the dark. Okay, yeah, so there's two circuit breakers, too. Kind of didn't even look at this. So right next to storage, and then right there, too. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what everybody was doing around the time it went, uh, well, I don't know, man. I feel like Sayaka and Leon are kind of sus, because they went off together. <sighs> I don't know. But would they help each other to murder... I just don't know if that seems right. Maybe they thought if they both killed at the same time, they could both escape if, like, you know, they were able to trick everybody since they're, like, in love and stuff. I don't know. Exactly. They were circuit breakers right by both, so it wouldn't have been hard to find them, even in the dark. So by using one of those, the killer got out undetected. Hmm. Hum, I suppose that makes sense. You suppose... Well, Mew, if you're going to question me, then why don't you step up and take more charge in this investigation? Though I have to admit, it wouldn't be very wise for you, seeing your past mistakes and forgetting details you provided. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. Man, Angie doing the creepy sprite. Haven't seen that sprite yet. Um, Angie? <laughs> Wouldn't you get all creepy and cool like? Oh, don't mind me, Kaide. I'm doing as Atomo wishes. Put people in their rightful place. Please continue. Uh, okay, weird. It's normally Kokichi making remarks like that. Atua told me to pop off, bestie. Ignore me. Anyways, we know they could have used either door, but we need to determine which. Listen to me! Uh, listen to me. I don't think anybody murdered! We would never! Huh? Actually, Akumatsu, it's very clear that only one door could have been used. I don't think that's true, but I'm gonna have to prove it. Dee 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 dee. Rebuttal showdown! Truth blade, start! Yeah, Angie was getting all weird all of a sudden. <laughs> I concluded the door had to have been used. Was the storage room the door? The door that had to have been used was the storage room door. Why? Are you just guessing, bro? There's no way the other one could have been opened. As stated earlier, any door used in the main area would have lit in unnoticeable light. There was nothing different about the backstage door. The curtain! No, there's something different. I have to show him that. Oh, I guess that makes sense why you would assume the storage if you didn't know about the curtain. Now that I think about it. Because, yeah, I guess uh, that would probably be my first conclusion, too, if I didn't know it was a blackout curtain. You know what I mean? Everyone here is my scrunkly. They would never do this. Cut. Break. Nice. Actually, Taka, it is possible to have used the backstage door during the blackout. How so? The curtain. Kibo, Siaka, Chihiro, and I ran a test to see if the light could shine through it, and it didn't. I see, so someone could have opened the door and none of us would have noticed. But how can we determine which door was used? But what if one wasn't used at all? <laughs> how, how'd they do it, Angie? They just telepathically killed him? I guess you could say, oh, they tripped. You know, he just tripped. The, the hamsters did it! I knew never to trust those damn hamsters! Those divas! Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about, girl? You've all been discussing this case as if the killer had to have been in the music venue. But what if... It was their intention all along. Oh, or Kokichi, is that what she's saying? You don't mean. Yeah, yeah. What if Kokichi's the culprit? I like that I went to the, the Davis before Kokichi. And what? 
But Kokichi would never! That actually kind of makes sense. Yeah. Are you kidding me right now? I have a concussion and this is how you guys pay me back? Yeah, what if he was faking it this whole time to make us think he's innocent? No way, there's too much evidence against it. I'm not really sure exactly what the evidence against it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's it. Alright, since I split this opinion, you know what that means! Scrum debate time! Yeah, scrum debate music! At 1.5 speed, baby! <laughs> that's so intense. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it down a little bit. Turn down the speed. Could Kokichi have committed the crime? I think this one goes a little bit faster anyways. It's possible! Y'all just want him to die, huh? Just me, Rontaro, Kokichi, Chihiro, Miu, and Siaka. Okay. I do feel like... I don't know. I guess... I don't know if I think Siaka is that sus, actually. She's been really helpful this trial. Kokichi was outside the during the party. What if he was planning to kill Gundam? Outside. But he had no way of knowing Gundam would go outside during the party. What if he faked his injury to throw us off? Injury! Nothing happened. No not happening. He was hit on the back of the head, remember? I doubt he'd be able to self-inflict an injury like that. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, actually. <laughs> Can imagine that being weird. Well, what if he was strangled using his scarf? It was found by the body, right? Strangled. If he was strangled, there would have been a red mark across his whole neck. But what about the motive? Maybe he had Gundam's paper. Uh, yeah. We haven't even talked about that very much at all. I didn't, but even if I did, do you really think I'd kill over a motive like that? You think I'm a chump, bro? Still, I wouldn't put it past Kokichi to lie about this. It's in character for him, is it not? Kokichi! But maybe Kokichi's injuries were near fatal. Maybe, but Kokichi's injuries were near fatal. I don't think he'd go that far to cover up a crime. Oh, you don't know me at all, Kaede. <laughs> but don't, don't say anything, don't say anything, Kibo. <laughs> But what if he caused the Blackout to throw suspicion on the people in the venue? Blackout! Kokichi was outside the entire time. There's no way he caused the Blackout. All the Breakers were inside. I mean, it kind of snuck in, though. I feel like that's probably the weakest point. But I think the other points, you know, cover it well enough. Oh, I guess he really didn't do it. Yeah, damn right I didn't. No, but now's a good time to hear what he knows, since we've established all the events leading up to his attack. There's not much to say. I was outside, then everything went dark. I was outside, then I wasn't outside. That's it, Ka. That's it. Why are you being sussy, bro? Yeah. Looking at Kokichi, I almost feel bad. He seemed tired, like he didn't have the same energy he usually did. You know, he does have a concussion and stuff, you know. So I guess I shouldn't be too hard on him. So Kikichi was snuck up on and knocked out. At least we know who was attacked first. That means Kokichi was the intended target, not Gundam. Okay, so then Gundam just saw. Alright, so now we need to determine how Gundam was killed. Non-stop debate. Start! It kind of seems like, honestly, the portrait's a little bit. Well, oh no! Oh, he's got little stars and moons on his. It kind of seemed like, uh, oh no, the blood coming out of his mouth. Ah, oh, that's messed up, Monokuma. I was gonna say, um, it kind of looked almost like Gundam, like he had, like, uh, I don't know, like a bloodline around his neck. I was like, that's supposed to parallel, like, the way he died. It's like, that's kind of interesting. Dangerous rocks! His neck was broken, was it not? That's correct, and there were no other injuries, according to the Monokuma file. To snap someone's neck with your bare hands, that wouldn't be easy. Wait a second. I have something important. I was like, is this, is it giving him, oh no, it's blood. Okay, for a second I thought it was like a little like cat ears or something. <laughs> but yeah, they did give like him a net, like a bloodline around the neck. <laughs> No other injuries. To snap someone's neck with your bare hands, that wouldn't be easy. So whoever killed him must have been super strong to do that. Hmm. I guess there's no other explanation. Nah, yeah. Dangerous rocks! No, there is something else that could have happened. Kinda wanna speed up the music even more. 
<laughs> Can you guys hear it okay? <laughs> it sounds I can't speed up like in the game. Oh god! <laughs> no other explanation! Okay, I can start slowing it down. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that from now on, that's fun. <laughs> Break! There is another way Gundam's neck could have been broken. The rocks around the venue. It's easy to trip on them, and if you fall, you could really hurt yourself. So, you're saying what you're saying is Gundam fell and broke his neck. But that would mean no one actually killed him. Nah, somebody pushed him. No, not quite. I don't think Gundam just tripped and fell. I think he was pushed. Pushed?! That's right! Is there any proof of that? Proof that there was a struggle. Oh yeah, there was a uh, st scarf, that's what it was. It's like, were you guys able to hear the music? I hope so. <laughs> Gundam scarf, it was found by the body and there was no other explanation as to how it got there. Let me get this straight, the killer clocked Kokichi, Gundam heard it, ran over, and the killer attacked him too. It seems so. Okay, so they were like, okay, so Gundam was probably at like the front and then Kokichi was in the back, basically. Okay. No, that's not it. Oh. Uh, what do you mean? What do you got for me, Rantaro? He's about to run this class trial. Look at the location of the bodies. Both of the backstage. Gundam's was found right next to Kokichi. Yeah, I mean, I think he could have gone over there. There's a lot of distance between the corner of the building and where we found the bodies. If the killer really did attack Gundam, he would have had more than enough time to run and make it back inside the venue. So that means... Gundam attacked the culprit? Oh, okay. Oh, Gundam! But why would he do that? I think to protect Kokichi. To protect him. That's sweet. He was probably trying to stop the killer. They struggled and Gundam was pushed. Oh no, poor Gundam. He tripped and fell, breaking his neck on one of the larger rocks. Dang, dude. The killer probably panicked and ran inside, not checking to see if Kokichi was already dead. So the only reason Kokichi's here is because of Gundam. Dang, you, you owe him your life. You better take care of those divas. It seems so. My eyes wandered to Kokichi, who was just staring blankly into the distance. Aww. So we know how Gundam died, but where does that get us? This will lead him to even more redemption. I think it's time to start narrowing down suspects. If we can do that, we'll be able to hone in our skill. Hone in our killer. Nyaha! How do we find it out? Hey, Mew. Where were you during the blackout? And me. We gotta lower the suspects too with the Kibo thing. Oh, that's a good question, actually. I don't know if it really talked to me or too much during it. I was with Kibo, uh, uh, right, Kibo? Well, we couldn't see the entire time, so you could have slipped away. Uh, how dare you, Kibo? You're supposed to cover me. How do we know you weren't lying? That seems awfully suspicious. And what? No. No one's listening to me, but if we keep randomly pointing fingers like this, we won't get anywhere. I have to do this, but I I'm gonna have to lie. Yes, bestie, go. <laughs> lie, bestie. I don't know how it's gonna help you, but do it, queen. How do we know Miyu couldn't have committed the crime? But is there really, is there any evidence she did it? I mean, she knew Kibo's lights were broken. There's a couple of other people that knew that, though, right? That's correct. So if she knew this, I think literally, I think literally you two, Ishimaru and Angie, were the ones who knew that. Like, yes, nobody else could have known that information. Nobody else could have been privy to that. Then she could have planned the blackout. You've got it all wrong. Kaede, bestie, save me. Have to get them off of Mew. I guess I can turn up the music for when I do it. Now you guys should hopefully go to here. Oh wait, no, it's not speeding up. Dang it. No, wait, no! <laughs> Everything's ruined. Okay, wait. There we go. <laughs> there it goes. 
<laughs> Keep those live. Okay. Why don't you guys hear it a little bit, even though it wasn't uh, too loud, I guess. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Let me slow it back down. Um, actually, me didn't know Kibo's lights weren't working. Huh? <laughs> I like it when it does that, though. It's so fun. I just wanted to make sure you guys could hear it this time, because I think I saw some people saying they couldn't hear it. Huh? Might be easier to hear if you have, like, headphones on or something. But... I shot Kibo a look begging him to just trust me for now. Yeah, so let's just call... I'll calm down, and it was like 2.8 speed at some point. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know you love listening to that music when it's at 2.8 speed. It's just... <laughs> yeah, so let's just all calm down, and... Atua does not approve of dishonesty, Kade. You lying... And what? You lying tramp! I saw you holding hands with Rontaro, too. We were all in the hall when Kibo's light stopped working. Chihiro and Sayaka can attest to that as well. Mia was there. She knew. Okay, wait, what are you saying? Oh, when Kibo's light stopped working, Chihiro and Sayaka can attest to that as well. Mia was there. She knew. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> you can't lie, girl. Leave it to me. You really thought you could pull off a lie like that? <laughs> amateur. <laughs> Fucking amateur, bro. Why would you do such a thing in the first place? I don't know, man. I just wanted to spice things up. Because we can't keep pointing fingers like this. We need to narrow it down. We need to narrow down the evidence. She has a point. We can't assume the killer knew about Kibo's lights. Makes sense. Otherwise, a blackout would be too risky. Right, so that narrows our suspects down to Kibo, Miu, Chihiro, Siaka, Angie, and Taka. Okay, so Leon's not even in there. I feel like Angie's acting kind of weird this trial, too, honestly. Let's see. I don't, I don't think it'd be the... I don't know. I feel like I trust the others for the most part. Because I've kind of suspected Siaka, but I also feel like she has been really helpful during the trial. She's been kind of like on her side, you know what I mean? Taka, but he wasn't in the hall with us that night. I told him and Angie when we were hanging out. Exactly, so it's safe to assume that the culprit is one of them. Well, we can take Siaka off that list. <laughs> right, Kade? Because I'm kind of like, uh, we're kind of like a thing. So like, uh, it's a little like problematic to have her on the suspects list. You get what I'm saying, girly, right? You wouldn't put Rontaro on the suspects list. So, you know, you, you got it. You got me. You got me, girl. Oh, because you two are blocking the storage room together, right? Right. That also means no one could have gone in or out of the door back there. Okay, so they had to go around. Kaede, give me the map. Yeah, it makes sense that they just went around, huh? Why? Just do it! I'll show you how it's done, Kaede! Still confused, I gave Kokichi my venue map. He marked something down on it before handing it back to me. Okay, so the... Okay, so the little arrow. I looked at it and saw a simple arrow marked beside the icon representing Kokichi. What does this mean? It's the direction I was facing when I was attacked. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they had to have come from store. Oh, wait. So, they, I guess they could have exited out of here and then walked all the way around there, maybe? The direction he was. I know who the culprit is. Uh-oh. Wait, you do? You do? <laughs> like, wait. I'm like, you do? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you do? There's only one person who knew about Kibo's lights and could have attacked Kokichi if he was facing this way. That is so... <laughs> it's like it's the exact same thing as like the last trial. I'm like, you go, girly. I have no idea what you're talking about, but you go. Totally, totally know who did it for sure. You're the only one who could have done it. Oh, seriously? Oh, come on, girl. What? Isn't that right, Sayaka Mizuno? Really? Huh, I'm trying to figure out. I guess she'll say exactly how she proved it. But man, I was really starting to think it was Angie, but I was like, I wasn't really paying attention to people's positions, you know, there. But I could see, well, I guess Leon could have been blocking the door and she had to, like, go pee or something. You know what I mean? Isn't that right, Sayaka Mizuno? What? Huh? 
Look at the map again. If someone used the backstage door, Kukishi could have seen them. The only way he could have been snuck up like that was if they came from the storage room exit. That means it had to be you or Leon, or Leon didn't know about Kibo's lights. Okay, hold on. I was holding on to Sayaka the whole time. She couldn't have done- we were holding hands, man! Leon, you're lying. I know you want to protect her, but it couldn't have been anyone else. Ah, oh, shoot. No, this is bullshit! Sayaka wouldn't do this! Again! Besides, we heard her voice during the blackout. It's true, but... Like a recording or something? I see, there's something in the storage room that explains how we heard her voice when she was outside. Okay, yeah. I guess it would take too long to go all the way around, because that was what I was thinking when I like was looking at the map. That's stupid. I refuse to believe this. Just thought maybe it's somebody really fast, you know? He isn't listening. I, I just have to show him the truth. It makes sense, too, since she's like literally the one that, uh... Oh, it's so cute! Oh, the art looks so good! I love it! Aw, nice! Oh, I love it! I love seeing the CGs. Man, they've really improved, too, I can tell. On the freaking baseball arena! That's awesome! Well, I was gonna say, oh gosh, would that mean that Sayaka's whole point for setting up this concert in the first place was just to kill somebody? Jesus. There's no way Sayaka is the killer! She would never do this! Again! She wouldn't do something like this for a second time! Not after everything that's happened before! She has an alibi! Me! We were holding hands! Just knock it off! Like I knocked the balls out of the park! You know, you know her too, Kaide. This is stupid. I kind of thought her, like, I thought, like, her positioning and stuff was suspicious, but she was just, like, she seemed like she was, uh, I don't know. It just seemed like she was kind of on her side for a lot of the discussions, which is why I was, like, thinking it wasn't her, but I don't know. It has to be someone else. It can't be her. Final blow! Get him! Well, actually, no. He doesn't deserve it. Uh, I don't uh, I don't know, actually. Oh, cassette player. Oh, that makes sense. A cassette player. Oh, I was... <laughs> literally, if this would have been a game, I would have done cassette player A. Or a cassette player. <laughs> I was, like, looking at that for a second. I was having an on-the-meat-bowing moment. I was like, cassette player. <laughs> Cassette player A. Why is it labeled A? I don't know. A cassette player. <laughs> Got it! Aw, oh, poor Leon, dude. There were cassette players and tapes in the storage room. If Sayaka planned the murder, she could have used one to record her voice sometime before the party. But she was in the venue by herself for a while. She would have had t plenty, plenty of time to plan everything. That would also explain the move supplies in there. She was trying to get to the exit in the dark. Oh. Siaka, please, if I'm wrong, tell me. I don't want to believe it that you'd do this. I was like, is this gonna be like a true nature thing? But I don't I don't know, we'll see. It's like, man, are you gonna have a Karekio moment? No Siaka, Siaka, tell me she's wrong. Come on. Tell him you're our alibi bestie. What she do? She's like Got like Kibo's hand or something. He's like, hey, yo, hold on to Leon's hand for a bit. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's just lying for her, actually, since uh, they let go hands. Or I think the base talked about that earlier. <laughs> Siaka remained silent. I knew I had to do it. I had to do it to him. I'm going to go over everything one more time. Then you have to face the truth. Closing argument! It all started when Ibuki, Leon, and the Black End and I decided to hold a concert to lift everyone's spirits after the motive. Oh, yeah, it was literally right after the motive, too. What motive did she get? She gets something about Leon, maybe, that made her, like, not, um, trust? Like, I don't know, like, make her just, like, want to leave, like, immediately? That morning, Monica mentioned that each, that each building in the school had circuit breakers. And if they were messed with, this could cause a blackout. The culprit would use this information later. They planned to murder Kokichi Oma while he was outside. They planned, oh, yeah. To do this, they decided to ca cause a blackout. They knew Kibo's lights weren't working, so this was a, vi a viable option. At some point when they were alone in the venue, they took a cassette player from the storage room and recorded their voice. After our performance, the Black and Leon went to hang out by the storage room. Uh... During this time, Gundam left the music venue to go check on the hamsters. Man, how could you do this with the hamsters? With the hamsters! I know she was trying to kill Gokichi, but still! 
Blacken, it's kind of messed up too that she was using like Leon's trust as well to like, you know, as like a distraction when she literally knows it's gonna like lead to his death. The Blacken must have distracted Leon for a brief moment and flipped his switch on the circuit breaker. We were eventually able to restore power, but in the confusion. We gave the Blacken enough time to enact the second half of their plan. They pressed play on the cassette player and set it down in the venue. The cassette player. <laughs> having, a familiarized, having familiarized themselves with the layout of the building, the culprit was made to sneak through the door in the storage room. Along the way, they accidentally knocked over some supplies. They got, they got outside and silently rounded the corner where Kokichi was standing. They picked up one of the rocks that surrounded the building, wielding it as a, she as a weapon, I mean, sorry. Cannot speak anymore. It snuck up behind Kokichi and hit him on the back of the head, seemingly killing him. Before they had time to make sure the job was finished, Gundam turned a corner, seeing them standing over Kokichi's body. He attacked then, and they had no choice but to fight back. It's kind of epic she beat Gundam in a battle, though, honestly. I guess he just tripped, but I guess it was default, but you wouldn't think they would stand a chance against somebody like Gundam and his dark powers of destruction. But they were able to use their surprising amount of strength from jumping around stage all the time to fight back. Ah, she did say that earlier. She was like, you make a lot of muscles from dancing. Oh. They pushed Gundam. I guess she would have really good reflexes. They pushed Gundam in the, in the struggle, resulting in him tripping and falling on one of the rocks, breaking his neck. Horrified by what, by what had happened, the Blacken probably panicked. They moved the body up against the wall before fleeing the scene. They ran back to the venue and picked up their cassette player, hiding it. Their cassette player. Soon after, we managed to get the lights back on. I was just surprised, I guess, that, well, I guess eh, it wasn't her idea, I guess. But she just, like, you know, she helped us with, like, the curtain thing. She was investigating the storage room while Leon was like, no, you don't need to investigate there, bestie. <laughs> There's nothing to see there. That was why, I guess, like, uh, she really kind of threw me off with that. With that, we all headed outside to enjoy the rest of the day, none of us knowing that two of our friends were lying outside. That's what happened, isn't it? Sayaka Mizuno, if that even is your real name. Ultimate pop sensation. Complete. I didn't mean for it to happen like this. It was supposed to save us. Uh, save us? Oh girl, you're gonna go on on one of those tangents. It was the motive, like it always is. I took the chance, it was true, but it turns out my intention failed me this time, huh? Oh, Kokichi one. God dang it, dude. Siaka, what are you saying? Don't give in to this. Say, I guess maybe, I guess he could have gotten like, she could have gotten like three really terrible truths about Kokichi. Say, Leon, why are you fighting the obvious? I did it. I killed Gundam. I killed our friend. Oop, that sounds like a confession to me. You know what that means. It's time to vote. No trauma dumps. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> it's overused. Let's just get to the murder part already. Ah, uh, Sayaka. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, though. Probably did, was that she got, like, a really bad, like, three really bad, uh, things about Kokichi. So she was like, oh, I should just kill him and the death game will be over. Righto, the one who offed Gundam Tanaka was none other than Miss Say Slayaka Mizuno! Oh, yeah, you got a perfect name for this, too, don't you? And this is your second time! I'm so sorry, I never meant to kill Gundam, he just... Oh, Slayaka. Are you serious? Slayaka, you can't be serious. Slayaka, why? Why did you do this? Oh, did Leon vote for himself? No! Oh, no. Who's gonna be in despair next chapter? That's so sad, dude. Oh, man. I didn't even notice that. That's awful. Slayaka dies, oh no. No, that's good. Because I got the two lies and truth for Kokichi. I got Kokichi's paper. One of the lies was that he was the mastermind. One of the lies was that he was the mastermind and I believed it. I was an idiot. I risked everything on it. I was like, I guess she could have tried to confront him, but still, I don't know. I just wanted to get us out safe. I wanted to end this game. Imagine my surprise when the body discovery alarm still went off and Monokuma was still running. Kaede's like, I've been there, bestie. <laughs> Who knows, maybe it doesn't clear Kokichi, but I give up. Siaka, stop. Stop saying this. This isn't you. 
What else was I supposed to do? The more time I waste, the lower your chance of survival. Leon, just let me do this for you, damn it. Aw, that's so sad, man. Poor freaking Leon, man. I can't believe he voted for himself. Thank you, Woody Things. Fan theory, Leon, she killed you really... <laughs> She killed you really really next time when I'm pretty anime when a pretty anime girl walks up to you do not switch rooms with them <laughs> Oh, yeah, but he forgave her for that. You know what I mean? they got they worked through that that whole murder thing that happened before <laughs> They were just like I tried to kill you you killed me. We're even we're even thank you for the dono though. Appreciate you For for me It's always been for you idiot you became my main motivation in this nightmare. The reason I wanted to try and get us all out. Aww. See, see, Aka, I... Wow, how heartwarming. Well, unfortunately, as much as I'd like to finish this little soap opera, I believe we have an execution to get to. Oh, no, is this going to be like a Fuhiko thing where he's like running through like, no, try to save her. That'd be so messed up. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment for pop sensation. Sayaka, Slayaka, Slayaka dies, oh no. Leon, everyone, just don't forget me, okay? Oh man, oh, I wonder what her execution's I'm gonna be like. You. No, no, Please I'm not done. Do I still need to talk to her. Please don't do this. Oh, poor Leon, man. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Oh man, I wonder if it's gonna be like her unused execution. Ah, oh, the chains again! Oh no! Oh, the art's so pretty. I love this update that they have, man. Oh no, not the Shuichi Kaide moment. Oh no! Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, conveyor belt. Oh, like a, a manufactured pop star kind of thing. There's a million of you, sweetie. Sweaty! Uh-oh. Try to break out. Oh, he is gonna try to stop her! Oh my gosh! Oh, those are friends, too? Oh, yeah, we're like other friends in the group, right? Uh, yeah, I was like, I don't think she's real, bestie. I don't think, I don't think that's a real person. Oh, shoot. <gasps> is he gonna die with her? I could see that happening, honestly. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I was like, oh, I could see him grabbing her and her dragging him down with him. Oh, oh, the scream! Oh no, poor Leon. At least Leon survived though. Oh my god, I really thought she was going to drag him down there, honestly. Oh, poor Leon. Oh, the, the little toe. Oh no, the Zayaka teddy bear. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Leon, just for you. Oh, who says I'm not a generous bear? That's so fucked up, Monokuma. Leon, come on, get out of here. Oh man, I know that scream, dude. He seems lost. Oh, he's total, totally despair mode. Ibuki will go get him. Yeah, get him out of the execution grounds. Don't even try. It ain't safe. I'll go get him out just in case. Damn, that sucks. That was a good execution, though, including, like, the holograms of her friends, too. Don't even try it. You, but you said... You just said it wasn't safe. Better have... Better to have me go in rather than someone like you, Ibuki. Be careful, Mondo. Wait. Barbie, what? Barbie, Ooh, what? <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, I just read that comment. Guys, that bear is not stuffed with cotton. What's it stuffed with, Barbie? What's it stuffed with? Oh my god! Is it her remains? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Wait a second. Like, I read that comment. I was like, wait, I cannot, I cannot continue reading after seeing that. <laughs> What's. What's in the plush, Barbie? <laughs> oh god, I'm scared! I'm horrified! <laughs> oh god, that's awful! I'm so scared! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! Be careful, Barbie! Is he gonna keep that thing? <laughs> I plead.
made the fifth. <laughs> Look at this chaos you've caused. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dying. Oh my gosh, she got turned into a marketable blood. <laughs> Oh god, Leon's gonna lose it so bad. He's gonna be holding on to that thing next chapter, too. Oh, please be careful. What am I not? <laughs> I watched as Mondo climbed over the, the fence with ease. I wouldn't doubt he had experience prior to this. Oi, Leon, get your ass over here! I don't know if he's gonna make it, man. Oh my god, Leon can be a marketable plush, too! Eventually, Mondo wound up making his way over to him, but his eyes softened once he realized Leon's state. Leon didn't react, simply slipping the ribbon off the bear and clutching it in his- Don't- Don't hug that, Leon! Don't- 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 Don't hug that- Don't hug that, bestie. Don't do that. Oh, God. <laughs> Mondo remained quiet as he helped him up and approached the fence. Oh, my God. Rontaro, mind helping me out? Oh, God. Sure. Please put the plush down, bestie. I am begging you for the love of God. After a bit of planning, Leon wound up getting over the fence and tried, and a tired Mondo followed. Boy, if you wanted to get the gate open, all you had to do was ask. Jesus, what kind of bear do you think I am? Would you have really helped? Maybe, maybe not. It was funny watching you guys haul Leon over the fence, though. Ha! <laughs> Reminds me of Kaede Dragon, Kibo's body. I'm surprised at how long you've helped with your hope. By the looks of it, Leon is... Leon is quite a time. How long you've held up with your hope. But by the looks of it, Leon is quite a time. I guess out of time. At that, Leon tensed up and the pink fabric tightly clutched and his hand slid into... <laughs> I just feel like it's like it's seeping blood. It's like squishy. <laughs> oh, oh, he kept the ribbon, not the bear. Okay, okay, good. Okay, good for a second. I thought it was I thought it was the whole bear. That's good. That's good to know. Bastard. Oh man. Oh gosh, that's good. What's that? All the chaos just distracted me. You're a bastard! Why are you doing this to us? Aw, oh, poor Leon, man. That sucks. We've already done this. Why? Do you think this is amusing? Leon! Let him pop off. Say your shit. Talk your shit, Leon. Don't Leon me! Oh, fuck. Oh, no, never mind. Don't, don't talk it to Kaede! Talk it! Talk to Monokuma! Leon, I advise you to calm down. Is this gonna be another round of let's blame Kaede for everybody's bad decisions? It's all your fault, Kaede, for your hope speeches. Calm down. She's right, you know. Watch it, Pip Squeaker. I'll make sure next time you don't wake up with just a head injury. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'd like to see you try, loser. Oh, really? Oh, God, is Leon gonna kill next <laughs> chapter? He does seem like he's ready to slay. Leon charged up and looked like he was going to attack Okichi, but something stopped him. This ain't the answer, Leon. Oh, my gosh. Let me go! Oh, shoot, dude. I can see multiple people dying next chapter instead, actually. I'm not letting you anywhere near him till until you calm down, asshat. How are none of you upset? We just lost Sayaka. Am I the only one who cares? Leon, we're all upset. Are you fucking stupid? Then why? Because we've already lost her. We ain't gonna lose you two for being stupid. Yeah. We're all upset, but you need to control yourself. What would Sayaka think if... Don't say that. Don't act like you know what she'd think. I bet none of you care. We all loved her, dude. Leon, of course we care. Jeff, get it. I can't believe I saw anything in any of you. I can't believe I fed into your bullshit. Oh, God. I feel like... Oh, my gosh. Hopefully he can calm down next chapter, but he does not. He is not... <laughs> does not seem like it's so far. I feel like he's going to be a victim, honestly, next chapter. I feel like he's going to try to kill somebody and then end up being a victim or something. Leon wiped his at his eyes and walked off alone to the elevator. Well, that was interesting. Sad. He's grieving. 
<laughs> Leon's all good now. Grieving, but he seems so mad. He just lost one of his closest friends, Fujisaki. Anger is only one of many things I'd imagine he's feeling right now. You sound so sure. Because I am. Yeah, he remembers what it was like. Clap, clap, clap. Fuck it, is it Kikuchi? Is that Kokichi? Oh no, okay, Monokuma. Well, I'd say you guys are all for the dramatics today, huh? Good show, good show. Wish I had my popcorn. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Almost. Everyone stood wordlessly as Monokuma slowly shrunk back into the shadows, leaving us alone. We should head back. It's been a long day. I agree with Kaide. Yeah, I am really tired now. Okay, let's just call it a night. Yeah, <laughs> try to try to sleep off the trauma as we usually do. We all went to the elevator silently, leaving one another with our thoughts. I feel like I kind of feel worse for some of the people who like went through like the entirety of like their own death game, and now they're having to go through like another one and getting um, you know, uh, they're having to like I don't know go through another one and go through the same thing. Like God, this would just suck to go through again. I oh, thank you, Katie. Put that down, honey. That has germs. Thank you for the nostalgic content. Uh, hope you've been doing well. Can't wait for more so content. Oh, yeah, true. Gosh, I cannot wait for your turn to die to finally update, man. Hopefully it's soon. I know it's, I think it's releasing on Steam soon at some point. Um, but uh, I hope that, I hope the next part's coming out soon. Because, yeah, I want to do some analysis videos for your turn to die, too. But thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. We just lost Sayaka Maizano, a girl determined to protect those she loved through and through. And Gundam Tanaka, a man who devoted his life to the love of animals and defending everyone around him. Neither of them deserve this. Um, Kaide? Ibuki stopped as we exited the elevator and the others paid us no mind. Could you stay with Ibu me tonight? It's probably okay. Abuki's a sweetheart, but I don't know, man. I just... I'm so suspicious. I'd be like, no thank you, bestie. <laughs> you know? If it was me, personally, I'd be like, no thank you. I'm gonna go sleep in my own room and lock my door and put my desk against it. Could you stay with Abuki tonight? Hum? Hum? I don't know, man. Everybody just so on edge. It's just Abuki lost me here within Gundam. She's all alone and she's scared. <laughs> the people in this game do not like Danganronpa 2. Plus the Davis might really like to see you. Oh, the Davis. Of course, let's go. I don't know. Ibuki let me to her room and she stepped in alongside me. We shut the door behind us and locked it securely. You guys saying it's, it's girl love in chat. I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous. I, uh, I don't know. It's just everything's so on edge right now. I feel like... I would personally be a lot more wary of somebody's intentions trying to get me alone. The Davis scrambled out of it, out of out from Ibuki's room, letting out the squeals and squeaks. Oh, no, no, guys! Ibuki felt her knees with tears in her eyes as they climbed on her. Everyone trying to find comfort in one another. Oh, no, guys, it's so cute. I'm here now. It's okay. Oh, I hope Ibuki makes it till the end at least. The Davis can't lose anybody else. I didn't have much to say, so I kneeled down beside Ibuki and the Davis in silence. For the rest of the night, Ibuki and I comforted each other, okay, thank God, with the promise of safety until we fell asleep. But I'm not sure how much longer I can make promises I can't keep. Oh, man. Oh, hey, the Leon thing did become relevant, didn't it? <laughs> well, he didn't die, but it did tug at his heartstrings and mine. That is so true. Oh, yeah, I guess we can wait for it to go out. Okay, interesting. I kind of wonder if how many people are going to die in the next chapters, though, honestly. Because we got a person, then we didn't have a double murder or a double culprit this chapter. I feel like we're going to get, like, a double murder or a double culprit next chapter. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I guess, um, I don't know. I'm glad Ibuki didn't do anything sus, but I would have personally... <laughs> I personally don't think I would have gone with her and been like, yeah, no, that's... <laughs> 
that sucks but <laughs> bye <laughs> oh god i don't know man it's just it'd be hard to trust anybody in a death game like this you know what i mean but uh yeah so this was a uh, this was very enjoyable i uh definitely like this chapter i think it's definitely getting better with each and every chapter and i hear it only uh gets better from here so i'm excited to see what happens next especially with uh tension so much uh higher now you know what i mean so we will see but yeah uh thanks guys for coming to the stream i appreciate you guys supporting thanks for being patient with me um and the fact that i took off last weekend i definitely do feel a lot better so i'm glad i was kind of able to take a little bit of time uh for myself but yeah um i don't know if i'll be able to get a video up this week because we're moving this week i'd like to but i don't totally know if that's gonna be possible so i'll just keep you guys updated on that definitely the week after if anything but uh thanks guys for coming to the stream appreciate you and i will see you later bye